We're recording now. All right, cool. So the last time we played, you guys were hunting down the uh, bandit leader named Corliss Razorback. You're in a town like, which is maybe like half a day's travel west of Fort Kenny. Um, and you, you know, you did a lot of things there so far. You had a few encounters. You went underneath the town and found like this tunnel or cave and you fought some zombies and some other monsters and you found like a fallout shelter down there too um you took a long rest there i think and you came up on the other end of the cave or tunnel it's more like it was more like a tunnel it was like a real short stretch of tunnel um and uh you came up on the other side of the town and then you were investigating the buildings on like the west end of the town still looking for this cordless razorback guy um, I put in tonight that, uh, and, and it's not really part of the recap, but your plan was to head after that to head to the old steel mill, which is even further west of where you are right now. So, um, assuming that's what you're going to do, that's why I put it in there. That's what I'm prepared to, to run. So, yeah, uh, but for plan. now, it was the plan. That's why I, I sort of, um, you know, prep for that. Um, so, but for tonight, you're still at, uh, you're still in this, like, you know, ruined town here looking for this, uh, bandit leader, I think. So let me just get you guys on the map here. Um, and I'll start up like my soundtrack here. Um, let's see. Do... something like this desert winds okay um yeah you had an encounter right here outside of this building um you haven't gone inside yet though what are you guys doing strange mechanical blades i want to investigate them or like, Meaning the like chainsaws technology. that they were. Yeah, I don't think Thorndale would know what it is. It's not like well, you saw you, have, right? you saw them using it. Um, yeah, you can make a technology check on. I mean, you you can tell it's some type of weapon. Go ahead and make a technology check. You know, I had a question about your bonus to that. Is it really like plus fifteen? I Does it really it work messed, out to that I think much? It, I think it messed up. I think it's supposed to be 11. Because I was looking at that too when I was looking at it. And I was like, I can't understand why it's 15. Because all my intelligence. other intelligence things are... Oh, no, because those are... 7 I, plus I think four. what I did is when I took superior intellect, I already had them. Because um, I was already proficient in them. And then when I took that, I added the same thing that I added on everything else. Um, yeah, let's, let's correct that now. Make that an 11. Because... A 15, that's outrageous. You don't even that need to roll outrageous. most of that's, the time. That's like, that's yeah, I was level. looking at it. Yeah. I got on and was like trying to redo the field notes today, and I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't know why I feel like that's wrong. And I, All yeah. right, so you, in this case, you rolled a 3 plus that, so you got a 14, which is pretty good, and um, you you mess around with it. You're able to figure out mechanically what's going on. Hold on one second. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, you're able to figure out what's going on with them mechanically. Like you figure out how to start it up, and it it you you notice that it runs off of a fuel source, which is similar to things you've found in this world. It's it's that gasoline stuff you keep finding. Um, so you figure, okay, if you guys have gasoline, you can power these, you know, long enough. Um, but it looks like it's like you know, capable of cutting through a lot of things, yeah, including limbs and stuff. Feel who long. who picked them up? Like the I wield? did. Was I did. You did. I put. Yeah. I, yeah, I have two chainsaws in my inventory. Now I didn't t put uh, an attack block or or attack thing because we haven't figured that out. But yes, um, I uh, did pick up the two chainsaws. I did I not up. make? Did I not make no. a? Uh, all right, no. I'll. I'll remember. I can base it off of um, what these guys actually do with them. 
Yeah. See, there's actually a like if you the guy you were fighting, uh, or these guys you were fighting these mutants, in the in the full size picture, um, they are. Uh, here, I'll just kind of see if I can show you real quick. Here, um, I don't know if I can. I don't know. Hmm. Never mind. I'll I'll show it to you some other time. But they're holding chainsaws. Is why I wanted to explain that. Um, so the base damage is is 2d10 plus four, well 2d10 plus whatever. I guess we'll just use strength. Yeah, we'll use strength for that. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah, and then for his, the attack, there's an added thing. A creature has to make a DC 12 Dex save or receive an injury, but that doesn't really help you guys much. Well, if you if you get them twice with it, you could probably kill them instantly. Because <laughs> two <laughs> injuries. I can, I'll make them roll in the injury table if you want. Um, that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that'd be not too bad. So, all yeah. right. So you got that if you need it. All right. Let's see what they were doing in here. I know I went in this first room already, so he's just going to walk right to the second room. Did we still... Did we bring, um... You guys didn't bring, uh... The other character with you, did you? The robot? Bok. Bok. Uh, yeah, I was Bok. bringing him last time, but... But I don't see him on the map. Is he underneath a token or something, maybe? Let me see. Oh, there is any... Oh, there he is. Okay, you can still play him since he was... He was with the party. Yeah, we'll um, we'll send him back to like rest or whatever after this when it's okay. If you want, yeah. Maybe. All right, so you're entering this uh, like uh, abandoned building, and there's just nothing really too interesting going on here. It looks like a domicile for these mutants. The best, as best you can see, there's not a lot of stuff here. A broken clock. Um, this actually looks like a giant suitcase to me. <laughs> I, I don't think, know. Um, because or a this bed. Looks like bleachers. That might be like a basketball thing. Nah, I don't even know. I don't know. But you guys like bleachers to me. Like it'd be a. You guys I think they look like more like a bus board. station. Could be like a backboard. You guys can try investigating this room, um, if you wish, or searching the room. We search the room. Sorry, I clicked it. It's taking forever. Come on. You don't need to roll investigation. Oh. Uh. No. All right. You find... I'll just roll. You find some food. And those are, like, special food items that you can use in battle or, like, right before a fight to give you some extra uh, abilities. Um, let's see. There's... Uh, one one healer's kit is lying around underneath some stuff, and you find five crossbow bolts, compact bolts. Ooh, nice. Yeah. You know, just scattered around, like maybe piled up somewhere in the room. I'll take that healer's kit if no one's opposed. Oh, go it's only got one charge worth. It's like. And think of that more like of a modern day like med kit or something. Right, just like has that. just enough supplies for one. One use of, a one of use. any okay. type, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got gotcha. you. It's not like the standard D and D kit, right? Um, where it's got what ten uses by ten default. uses, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Is there anything along this wall? Nah, it's just a solid wall there. It's all brick. Brick. This is like all brick building you're in. It's kind of dingy, and there's some, you know, like the floors are a little messed up here, and you can see down to like the base of the building, and there's like, you know, stuff growing in there, a little bit here and there. It's all just messed up. You can see back out to the other side of the road that you guys first were walking along from here. Through that, it's, that's a window right there, and. You know, it's shattered, so, like, you could literally just crawl back out, you know. No sign of this razor beak yet. 
Razorback. Oh, I thought his name was Razorback. I think it's Razorback, yeah. Corliss, Corliss Razorback or something. You're going out the window that way? Okay. She sure did. She jumped forward. <laughs> All right. After you, Avi, you're better at tracking than I, right? Obviously. <laughs> um. Um. Perhaps you could survey the area so, and see if there's any. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Like, since I can really only see about to out to here. Um. Is there anything about. Um. Because I did cast Dark Vision. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Well, that was the day before. That was the day before, and you took a long rest, though. You don't have it anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Then I'll cast it again. All right. Are you not actually able to see? Um, I can see only into out to here. So that's uh, how many? Yeah, I can but see six forty-five feet, fifty feet. Let me see if sunlight's actually turned on. Yeah, yeah it is now. Right it, it, it is now nighttime now. So you guys are. Okay. All right, I'll I'll now adjust your token yeah. so you can actually see. I just um, can't... actually you do have you night vision's on for you, Avi. Hmm. It's do just have... it, it's just dimming at a certain point. You can't see too far. Ooh. Yeah, that's the oh, other side of the road where you guys fought. Um, okay, so maybe we want to go north actually. Well, let me scout around a lot. There's blood all over this car over here. Is that right? Uh, you'd have to get closer to to <laughs> get you know some kind of idea. I'm gonna look is. in this window. Does it look like where we just came from? No. No. Um, go ahead and make a stealth check, and that's not a window. It's a doorway. Oh yeah, I see the door on the ground now. Um, just to, actually, you didn't make one stealth check for me, please. Fine. All right. <laughs> so you you didn't sneak up very quietly, and as soon as you stepped in front of the doorway, um, some creatures noticed you, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to roll initiative again right now. <laughs> Great. Wasn't a good idea. Um, Arm yourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. Arm yourselves. <laughs> All right, we got two of them. One of them. You got qu actually. There's quite a lot. Uh, I got to add one to here. Forgot to add him in to my thing. Let's see. You guys are going to like this fight. You ready? I don't, know. I don't like the way you said it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's going to be like some of the other ones, I think. You'll see. Can't be right. And we'll go with that. Yeah, it's it's difficult to sneak up on someone when you just step on glass in front of the door. And what you should have done is see you see where Gerlach's standing. Stop there. And listen, see if you hear, heard anything. But you didn't do that, so. All right, roll the initiatives, um, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, play the combat time music. Can you link it? In one second, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I can remember. There it is. Yeah.
That's the link, guys. All right, Avi is first in initiative. Let me, um, let me number these guys right quick. What are you gonna do, Avi? You can start okay. thinking of your plan here. First thing we're gonna do is rush in. And oh yeah. Going, yep. Now rush Whoa. over here. Oh How my am I at God. 77? There's so many guys in here. Um, and I'm gonna sunblade number. Let me get closer. Number two. Yeah, number two. That will probably hit him. Um, yeah, it does. Does a 28 hit? It does. Yeah, it does hit. <laughs> he's uh, he's carrying like a giant axe. Well, like a fireman's axe, and he's. He's got Not like a, a smock on and a pair of scissors in his in, on his belt, like surgical scissors or pruning shears or something. Um, let me see. What are you hitting him with? The sun blade? Yep. Two-handed. All right. Two-handed. That does fifteen damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he just spits at you and laughs. With that hit. He's not a monstrosity. Uh, a I construct. think he might be, actually. Aha. Yes, he is a monstrosity. Good. So you would do an extra four damage. All right, you hit him. And now what? Do it again. Go ahead. All right, that also hits. And you're wielding it two handed, so. Um, 12. That is 12 more damage. Yeah. The Sunblade isn't like a short sword? Whatever she wants it to use it as, but it's always, oh. it's always dexterity based. Like she can okay. wield it. It's a long sword, so she can wield it with two hands if she wants. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then I'm gonna um, just move around this guy. You'll take an attack of opportunity. Even if I'm still within five feet. Well, there was another one right next to him. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Duh. Okie doke. And. Is that your turn? Melee attack. And that is my turn. All right. I guess it's Lyra's turn next. Now I'm going to have her. She would have been closer to the group. I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to really move her as I was watching her. So I'll start her from here. So 5, 10, 15, 20. She moves around. Say she can see number two. She's going to run in or run to the door and psychically charge him with the psychic blast attack. And he needs to automatically make a wisdom save or take full damage from her. And she failed. So she just did 30 damage to number two. And takes care of that. And then she steps back 10 more feet. And she's like, there's more of them in there. Be careful. All right, number four, butcher number four is going to rush over to Avi and begin to destroy Avi. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one sickle. Okay, he's got that. Okay, we'll go with that. Axe attack. Yeah. Oh, he hit. Um, he goes into a rage after he smashes you. Like, like he gets enraged as he hits you, Avi. All right, so 24 does hit you, right? So that's going to be 8 slashing damage, 11 poison damage for a total of 19, unless you're resistant to anything. Mm -mm. And you got to make a con save or take... Um, oh, sorry. I just clicked the wrong one. Okay. All right, so let me make sure I did this right. Sorry. Yeah, it's I, an additional. Like it's an additional two D ten. Um. Con save. Let's see. Did you make it? Yeah. Okay. So you don't receive. All right, you, you you reduce half of that 11 is what I'll say. Yeah, I'm going to 
I'm not gonna double that. That would be way too powerful. So that's gonna be eight and five that you just took. So what is that? Thirteen, right? So all right, okay. he took thirteen damage from that, and then he hits you or tries to hit you again. You don't have protection from poison. Up. Oh, I critical know. hit! All right, so that's seven flashing. Um, make another con save. You got to do it every time. You failed that one. You're you're poisoned. Well, you take poison damage. You don't get poison, so that's an additional nineteen damage. All right. Yes. Um, okay, and then he pulls out his sickle and it slashes you with that for nine. You just got wrecked by him. Is that all you got? All right. Um, now it's number one's turn. And he's going to walk over to here to your flank and do the same thing. You're about to get killed. Um, Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I never rolled the... Uh, hold on. I For the last guy, I didn't roll the critical hit table. Stay down. You just got knocked prone and you're stunned, Avi. Yeah! <laughs> prone. Damn, you're gonna Jeez. offer off. You see 15 con I save. Make, a con make another con save. Alright, you didn't... You don't get that other effect, but you are stunned for a round. You're gonna get killed here. <laughs> <laughs> I welcome it. All right. So the that last axe attack is a twenty-one, so it had advantage. You just took twenty-five damage. Um, I'll take twenty-five more. Well, make a con save though cool. again. Again, after the one that I just made, that was twenty-two. Yes. Again, yeah, this is for a different guy. So you took the full damage from that hit. Um, these guys are butchers. You guys gotta think smarter. 21 to hit. That's Make another con save. See if you go down here. Alright, so... 17 damage, which is the amount of hit points you had left. You just went unconscious. Probably shouldn't be rushing into melee. I put that little purple icon on you. Well, she is a ranged character. Yeah, she's playing poorly. Um, all right, so this one comes over. <laughs> uh, what's he got? So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This one comes over and attacks you. <laughs> so. <laughs> With um, advantage because you're prone, stunned, the whole nine yards. Um, so you, does she fail two death saves right there? Yeah. Um, I think it. I don't. Is it two? I thought it was an automatic one. It's two. <laughs> oh shit! It's, the, it's an automatic two if you're attacked oh, by your down. Yeah. No, it's a it, on a critical hit. It's two, isn't it? Well, that's I know I it's thinking. automatic. If they're if they're prone and they're unconscious, then it's an automatic critical, isn't it? Yeah, or automatic uh, fail. Good point. I'm gonna go light here. I'm just gonna say it's one automatic. It's one death fail. One death failure. One death fail. All right, so he's gonna do it again. I'll probably kill you right here. All right, that's an 18. Which hit. That's two death fails. And then he gets a sickle attack. Well, my AC is 18. That meets it. Meets it. Yeah. Meets it. yeah. Okay. So, so you're dead. Your character just died. Oh, no! And then Pantheros bursts out of the um, existence. Does he? Yeah. Alright, do you want to play one of the other characters for right now? Uh, sure. Who, who should... You can play Lyra. Oh, I'll play Bach. Yeah, play Bach. I'll play Bach. Character's dead. You just saw him get decapitated. 
Oh, Lyra. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know why you ran in the room like that. All right, yeah, so... Yeah, I have no idea. I, I give you the initiative order before the fight for a reason, so you can see it. All right, so here they come. 5, 10, 15, 20... 25. Is Pantheros actually gone if you're dead? Well, we can debate this. Do you think he is? Because he's attached to me and I bring him into existence. That doesn't mean he would just disappear. He's still he's okay. still there. Okay. I'll give you guys one chance to spare the dying or something. Or No, nah, actually, you're dead. Um, I'm dead. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, so the, mu the mutant hulk runs up to... Um, he's gonna attack anyone he can see there. Actually, I forgot one thing. He is okay. Yeah, he has reach on on you guys. So he attacks Pantheros. with his claw. Damn, Mike is running, r rolling exceptional tonight, though. I mean, look at his yeah. roll. No mm -hmm. kidding. Multiple crits, high rolls, too. <laughs> All right, he's got Pantheras grappled. Oh, 15 God. plus 4. Because it's a crit. How's he okay. doing that with Pantheras over here? He's got reach. He's got a 10 foot reach. Pantheras is now grappled. Um, so yeah, he's got another claw attack coming. 20. Whoops, didn't mean to hit that. Or no, it's just a 13 actually that time. So let's see what else. Um, and then with his other hand, he, um, or he, he begins gnawing on Pantheros. When he's grappled. All right, it's only a thirteen again, so that missed him. Okay. Um, do you want Do you want to control Lyra or Bach? So, Bach. Bach. Why Bach? Because he's got cooler powers. I don't know. He just. Fire. Mike just doesn't want to see his son's character die. Uh, <laughs> 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 Bach rushes in. <laughs> well, it makes sense for Bach, actually. Yeah, yeah. it makes yeah. sense, yeah. <laughs> How about it's your choice, Set, babe? I'm setting We all up. know. You want me to do no, Lyra? it's fine. Well, Nathan had a good handle on him. That's that's all. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I see. So, all right. It is Thorndale's turn now. Maybe we should switch it back then. <laughs> well, whatever you guys want to do. He's going to run you're, right up here short. so that he can catch it. Okay. What uh, does he do? Very pissed off. Seeing the the body of um I'm gonna do this at an upcast with seven side whoa that's that big 8d8 one that is my 10d8 with the upcast and d8 Jeez. in this case they all gotta yeah, make intelligence damn. Save. DC all right. 19 Ro roll roll the damage for me yeah, DC 19. They're not going to make this. Oh, shit. Damn. That's actually, um, I need to roll two more D8. That only rolled eight. That two doesn't count, right? No, the two doesn't count. So it's 46. All right. So number two I just rolled for, he actually got a 23 on his intelligence save. Oh, shit. Wow. Yeah, so that's 46 and a half, right? 23? Yep. Yes, sir. All right, took 23. Get through all these guys real quick. Um, number three. 
gets. He got a 23. They, I'm rolling natural 20s. Jeez. So, I'm telling you, Mike's rolling high. All right, number four. I know you can't see these saves. I can show them to you. But that one only got a nine. So number four took, what was it? 46, 46. total, right? Okay. He got, he, that did a number on him. This is going to hit all these four and then the, and the Hulk, right? How far does it actually go? Uh, it extends 60 feet from me. Do you need line of sight and all that? Um, it's like in a cone. Okay, I just was asking because yeah. there's someone else you can't see right there, I think. So. All right, number one only got a 15. So we'll take 46 damage. And then the Hulk needs a save. See what else happens here. 19. Yep, so that's the save. Yeah. So 23 for him. I think. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. That's. What kind of damage is that? Psychic. Alright. Good. Okay, that's your action. That is my turn. All right, Cav, you're next. All right, I'm going to run right here, and I'm going to cast a Beacon of Hope to be able to catch everyone. That would be my um, action. Choose any number of creatures. Uh, everybody has advantage on wisdom saves and death saving throws. Right. And regains max number of hit points from any healing. Okay. Correct. So I'm not going to label everybody with that. You just, yeah, it's going to hit remember. everyone. Yeah, so you gonna, remember. Yeah. Yep, I got you. Yeah. And then All I'm right. going to do a bonus action healing word to a uh, Garlac, which would be 12 hit points back to you. Yay. Right. Without rolling. Is, without it, rolling, 12, is it 12 total with all your other yeah, bonuses? Yeah, it's 12. Yes. Yes, sir. All right. I just want to make sure. All right, uh, you're at 89 hit points, Gerlach. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. Bach is next. Melissa, you have control of him now, so. Okay. I'm going to, um, is this right? Does he have zero spell slots left? His spells are cast per day, if you look next Oh, one. I see, okay, yeah. So right. you just gotta, <laughs> kind of remember how many you're using like i got it it's per spell per day and each spell is different so okay um he's gonna come in he's not like a mage so he just he does all his magic instinctively like oh i shouldn't have done that can i um wreck on that and be just right here you can yeah, he's okay. still within. You're still within his reach, though. You know, you could probably. Uh, I could just do that from back. Go here. right down in here and then attack him that way. Well, I was gonna actually um, cast. Uh, oh shit! Where is it? Disintegrate on um, the main guy here, right here. Yeah, if that's a ranged attack. You don't need to be right in front of him. I know. That's, that's the I main. Heard. That's one of the main guys. He's pretty big. Um, all right. So, what kind of save is that? Uh, dexterity. It, oh, it is constitution. Dex. No shit. I would think it would be constitution as well. I would but... think because it's disintegrating. It's You're disintegrating someone yeah. to ash right. or. Unfortunately, he stayed with a 22. No! Does he what? take any damage? Uh, Failed save. Doesn't say. It says only on a failed save. Yeah, on a failed save, the target takes 10d6 plus 40 force damage. The target is disintegrated. If this damage leaves it with zero hit points, disintegrated creature and everything is wearing yeah, carrying except magic items. It's all or nothing, isn't it? Okay, that's all. 
then that's... I want to make sure, though. I'm just... Yeah, I read it. Yeah, there's no... He just resisted it. He dodged it completely. It's a deck save, so... All right, that's box action. Is that it for him? Yeah, that's his turn. All right. Okay, all right. So they're coming. They know he's dead. They're they're starting to come out now. Um, this one is going to move up to here and attack Pantheros with his axe first. Probably twice if he can. 25. All right, make a con save for Pantheros. All right, he failed. So he took... Jesus, that's 28 damage. These guys are powerful. Um, their attack with the axe. See, this is the kind of room you didn't want to just make this mistake on. All right, that's only a 12 to hit, so that's going to miss. And then a sickle attack will 19. So he takes an additional 6 damage, Pantheris does. All right. That's his turn. All right, Gerlach's turn now. All right, what what creature is this? Is this the hawk? Yeah. Okay, I will attack the hawk. Ooh, uh, hold on one second. Um, I just got to do something. Well, Pantheros is not prone. No, he's grappled. Oh, okay. Let's do the next round. Go ahead, girl. I'm sorry to interrupt. I would say, um, can I pull out the chainsaw and start hacking and slashing these things? Or is it too early because we don't got the stats on it? Um, what was that? You can. You can do it. Because uh, Thorndale showed you how to turn it on. So. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, cool. You know. Uh, hack and slash, you know, and rip, and tear. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna attack this guy. Now, um, I don't know what to roll for the chainsaw. So I say in this case that with that chains, you you got a ten foot reach, right? Can yes, you reach through enemies with with that? Yeah. Like, all right, go ahead. So you got to roll. You got to roll a d20 plus all your bonuses and stuff. I'll figure it out later. I'll, I'll just attack him with my nano sword then. Um, yeah. Because it's already in there and calculated. Um, all right. Yeah. All right. I clicked on it. It was a little not laggy for me too. There. It's going to be laggy. There it goes. All right, so sure. you're attacking the Hulk, right? Yes, the Hulk. Oh, then it rolls a second attack as well. Yeah, so that was like a 15-second delay. All right. All right, so you got... Um. Oh, looks like one uh, of those is a one. No, it's it it corrected it and it rolled a three instead. Oh, I see that it did. Okay. You see that? So you, I do. you did yep. ten. You did ten to the Hulk with the first yep. one, and then ten ten on both attacks. Okay, and then you third a third. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only fifteen. So that actually yeah. missed. That's a miss. Barely, okay. barely though. Yeah, that's um, that's my three attacks. Uh. You know what? The group needs me to go full on and just try to destroy these guys or it's going to be shit. So I'm going to use my accent search. Okay. So I'm minus my accent search. I'll link it if you want. Um, nah, okay. nah. And, and I'm going to attack the Hulk again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. that hits. Um, 12 more damage. Still alive. Right. Oh, that's a mess. That's a mess. All right. There that's we go. Perfect. Yeah, so that's 17, and I'll do the table. Guard it. So you get that guarded strike thing again, which gives you. Yes, plus two AC. Yeah. It gives me a 21 AC class. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, awesome. That that um, actually for one come round. in handy. All right. Yeah, it, it it will. Yeah. How fucked up is that hawk looking? He's now bloodied. He's now bloodied. All yeah. right. Um. All right. That's it. Um. In the turn. All right. Pantheris' turn. Okay, he's gonna move right here, and he's gonna do a, uh, his um, whatever he calls it, multi-attack, which is storm of claws and fangs, mm-hmm. and he's gonna. Let's make one maul on each one of those guys. Yep. All right. So which one are you attacking there? Um, the, the Hulk. Yep. Okay, that that definitely hits him for nine. Uh, actually, it's going to be thirteen Plus damage. Four. Yeah. Oh. And then you can attack that slasher there. Uh, that also hits him, and that's going to be another thirteen damage to him. He's they're both bloodied still. That. Wait, and then he's going to move here, and that's his turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, Avi's dead, so Lyra is next. She is going to, um, she'll psychic blast the Hulk, see if he can uh, resist her psychic energy. So 19 damage. Yeah, head. she's going to blow his brains out of his ears so if she can. He's got to make that con- that wisdom save. He got a 19. She still does half damage, so that is going to be nine damage to him he's not dead she's like yeah. he resisted me okay another creature that i forgot to add last time comes down here um see here what he can do well that looks terrifying but we can you make that portrait yeah. Ugh. Oh yeah. Terrible. He's got all these canisters strapped to his back. Um and he's got all these vials of this uh green liquid. And he's throwing oh. them at you guys. Well shit. Let's do that. <laughs> and of course me and Pantheris are the only ones you can see. <laughs> Yeah, he throws it at Pantheros, I think. Let me make sure. Is it single target it? All right, so that's good. Um, did that hit Pantheros? No, it missed. Nope. So the, the, the thing splashes on the ground. It looks very similar to that green shit you found underneath the, the, the town. Um, and it just missed Pantheros. That is his turn. Um, He's got one action there. So here they come. Here's number four attacking Pantheros. 26. Hits. All right, make the save, con save for him. All right, he failed it, right? It was a 14, so he took way too much damage. 21 damage, Pantheros is gone from this plane of existence. Put him on the GM layer. Oh, all right, he's done. Um, and then uh, he's got, he was over here, five, 10, 15. Uh, he's gonna come and hit you. Oh, 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 no, no. Um, I get a reaction. He didn't, he didn't leave your arc. He's still within 10 feet. Well, right, or is it right, five? No, he went right by me, and he moved away from me, and I get to attack him. Go ahead. Okay, number four, reaction attack. I should make it so that you, I moved him over there because I, here's the way I'm thinking about it. You can't target around walls when you're like that. Otherwise, he would just attack you. But I'll just have him do it anyway, because I said it already. Um, you can make that. Did you hit? What did you get? Yeah, 29. I rolled 29, 16 points of damage. All right, you hit him for 16. 
he comes over um, to attack. He's got one more axe attack. He's attacking Thorndil. Yeah, 24 six, to hit. I took the full 16, so this is the other. I need another con. Oh, because you already rolled the con save. Alright. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, that was... Oh, I thought That's that was wrong. another attack, so... Mm. This is the one I'm making against you. Oh, okay. So you you made the save, so it's only a nine and seven. So you took sixteen instead. But he also has his stickle. He can kind of dual wield. So twenty-three. You got to make a deck save now. Took seven slashing damage. Now you're prone. Right. He just tripped you up. Wow, these are some bad motherfuckers, guys. Yeah. They took out read everything. companions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so since you did that, I'm going to have him move up and attack Gerlach. Okay. Uh, hold on one That's second. I'm just gonna... I can't see because I got too many icons here. Uh, moving Pantheris out of my way. There we go. Axe attack, first attack against Gerlach. If it rolls. Damn. Not roll. roll it. Ten seconds ago? Twenty Count. I'm gonna roll I'm gonna hit it again. Oh Wait. there, it rolled. That's a fail. See that that the first one was definitely That's a, a fail mess. too. They're both. Alright, so he would have attacked twice anyway. Both would have failed, um, and then he tries with a sickle against you. Yeah, we're having about a 15 second delay. It's That's a little a slow. Through. All right, so it's only a 14. Oh, all three attacks missed. All right, number three. Um, he's right here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He, could have, he can only make it there. He can't squeeze out of there. Actually... No, he can't. Um, hold on one second. Oh, wow. These guys are uh, also regenerating from their wounds. Oh, my God. It's so slow. I know. I, even for me. That's very uncommon that I have slow internet. I can just see it saying rolling the dice, just waiting. Yeah, it's not I the mean, internet. It's it's the servers. They can't handle yeah, us. Anymore. I mean, I'm getting a 15 <laughs> second delay and you're getting a 15 second delay. I think everybody is at least yeah, a 15, at least 15 no, almost, seconds. At least 15 second delay for everybody. Which, yeah, it's still it's still really saying it's still literally saying rolling the dice. Roll twenty is just starting to work. <laughs> I got to roll it three times anyway because I forgot. But... It might be overloaded. Everybody's playing D and D on a Sunday, because you know on yeah. There it goes. A seventeen. Thirteen. Yeah. I needed. I needed 17, three of them. Twenty-seven, thirteen. They're all what regenerating. The other, the other, yeah. the other ones who went this turn. I forgot the roll. So they're the, just as fast as you're hurting them. They're they're regenerating their health. Oh shit! All right, so that's all he can do because he he can't he can't make it out. So. All right, it's the Hulk turn. He also does that same thing. Oh, God I mean, damn. It's a feature of all these mutants. We almost had the yeah. Hulk kill, too. It's, the, it's their big thing. He got 22 back. You're going to have to work hard to kill them now. This is one of those rooms you definitely should have just avoided. All right, it's the Hulk's <laughs> turn. Um, he's long-limbed. He's going to claw at Thorndil. We can still run. 20, 21. Oh, it is advantage, yeah. So, so 12 slashing. Um, and you are also now grappled by him, even though you're prone. 
Okay. Um, so you see the rule there to break out. All right, he can claw you again. That's a crit. So, yeah, 18 and the table. It would have ignored any damage resistance he had. So, uh, now that you are grappled, he also gets to gnaw your face off. Oh, God. He's biting you, this. Guess 17. I'm see my wife well, it's a, 30. Huh? it's a 30. It's a 30. It's a 30. 15. So, 15, and then. Wait, how does he get advantage? Because I'm prone to. He he heals oh. himself for fifteen damage. Yeah, Again, he, he heals enough for another from 15? the from the null. Yeah, yeah. These guys are nasty. Oh my man. fucking god! Mm-hmm. Oh and god. that's a turn. It's your turn. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a party kill here if you're not careful. Yeah, right. That's all right. I'll just try out one of your other character things. Um. No, I don't want Thor until today. Uh, shit. I don't know what I can do. I guess I'll just have to heal myself, because I'm fucked. Doing an explosion. I'm gonna... No, I'm, I'm not taking many more hits before I go down, so I, I have to heal. Uh, you get the max You get the max heal. Yeah. Oh. How many side points are you gonna roll? Um, I was gonna you say four. Did. Before you said that, I was gonna say four, so... I'm not going to change it. I'm going to be fair. So, 40. It doesn't matter. You can decide. <laughs> you, you didn't do it with that knowledge when you were saying it. And so. um, I'll do five. Shit. Hold on. What is eight times five? I'm not going to. 40. Eight times five is like 30, right? 40. Oh, 40? 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gonna do five then? Yeah, I'll heal myself. Before. All right. You heal yourself. For, you're at sixty hit points. And that's my action. That's really all I can. Do. Yeah. All right. Fuck all right, these Cal, apples. Your turn. I'm going to run over here, and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds. At fourth level, which will be forty-three hit points, takes him well beyond his max. Yeah, but I'm just you, you want to do you want to do it that high? I mean, yep, doing it that high. Forty, okay. So you're back to full health. You're at eighty-eight hit points, Arndo. That's the action. That was my action. Uh, I'll go ahead and give a uh, healing word. To Gerlach for 12 hit points. All right. Nice. Thank you. Mm hmm. All right, you're at 101. And that's okay. my turn. Okay. Bach, you're next. All right. I'm going to do a. Can he not kill his friends when he does it, throws a fireball? Is he going to hurt his friends? Bolt? Yeah. Okay. Fireball single target. Okay. Fireball is an area effect. It will hit everybody in range. I think the only way to not hit your friends is be evocation, right? Or, uh, right. Sorcerer yeah. or sorcerer. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be Evo or. Can you do that as sorcerer? Yeah, you can Sculpt use... spells. Yeah. Meta -magic. yeah. What is it? It's a meta magic feature, sculpt spells. Oh, nice. I'm gonna have to play a sorcerer next. Yeah, they're fine. I've never played one at all. Think of a wizard, but with less spells and more cast of those spells. You, well, you can go like be, full damage. Yeah, that sounds fun. It can be. Yeah. All I right. Like so, that. what are you doing? Bach? I'm gonna do a fire. No, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just come right up here. You and throw a fireball do... and shape it where it barely. Hold on. Are you then, looking at all of the abilities before you're deciding yes. this? Cause... Yes. All right. I'm going to do a multi-attack. All right. So first thing he's going to do is a flame claws on the Hulk. Does okay. he have reach? 
You can't reach the Hulk. You can reach number huh? two and four. You it's can't reach. Can't reach. He's not the Hulk. That's that's Slasher four. Oh, Slasher four. Then that's what I mean. All right. So you hit with that definitely. It's mm -hmm. a crit. So you did twenty five fire damage, and he needs to make a save. Uh, Constitution. Mm -hmm. Or he's set on fire. All right, he failed. So one d ten. Do I do it now or wait until now? Next at, turn? Okay. at the start of their turn. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Then I'll do another flame claws on number two. You're gonna divide up your attack. Fine. Go ahead. Should have killed number two. Period. Go ahead and make the attack roll. It's a 20. Mm -hmm. All right. No, it hits number two um, only for nine damage, but he di he dies. Yay. Yeah, he's okay. down. What about this? If both attacks hit a creature, then Bach can roll 1d20. Yeah, but you split up your attacks. It's a, they got to hit the same creature. Oh, it doesn't say that. It says a creature. Well, oh, so if you right. hit... Well... The it's it it's refer right. it, the intention is the same creature. Okay. I made that stuff very hastily. <laughs> I just kind of wrote it off real quick. I get it. I get it. Okay, that's his turn. All right, good. Um. All right, Gerlach, you lose that plus two to AC now because it's the start of your turn. Yeah, I know. It's your, it's your turn. I'm gonna freaking viciously attack the hawk. Okay. Nice. That's a crit. Yep. Um. So twenty-six damage, and we'll roll it on the table. Disorient. DC thirteen con save or stun for a round. So he does get the save though. Let's see, it might be easy for him to make that. He's got. 15, so he's not stunned. Yeah, okay. All right, so go ahead with your next attack. Second attack. Yeah, that's that's also a hit. That's 17 more damage. He's not dead yet. Third attack. That killed him. Yes! Ice. Motherfucker! I skull fucking <laughs> corpse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I start job. doing a dance. I start doing a fucking war dance. Like fucking like they do in New Zealand, and fucking flexing my weapon and shit, and go rah, 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 beating on my chest, or when I smear <laughs> the blood over my face like a fucking tribal warrior. Hell yeah! Awesome. <laughs> Can I Fuck be yeah. intimidated by that? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I choose to fail my intimidation check. <laughs> All right, so still playing as Lyra. I'm gonna have her do something different. Um. She should have did this earlier. Uh, let me see. That's self only. I think. Range self, yeah. All right. Um, he is going to cast this. So she throws it into the room and all these dancing lights and array of spectacle of mental flourishes and stuff been all around the room affecting any of those creatures in range. So it's a 30 foot cube. Um, pattern appears, wait. Uh, each creature in the area, how big is a 30 foot cube? Oh fuck! It's a cube. That's too big, right? Oh, that's yeah. gonna hit. That's gonna hit us. Yeah. All right. So she doesn't do that. She would know better. Um, damn it! I think she'll just have to do a psychic blast. Don't 
could do it is if you do a cube at like an angle. Not a, you can't really angle the cube. Yeah. That's the problem. Um, she could do that, but that's a little overkill here. <laughs> Plus, they have advantage against that. She knows that now. Um, I mean, she could always do a disadvantage. How? With vicious mockery. Does that give you disadvantage on saves too? No, just attacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do a psychic blast and it's not lit me. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so 22 against number four, four who is the closest. And no matter what, that kills him outright. He's dead. Because if oh, he stayed nice. or not, it's still greater than the amount of hit points he's got. So she just kind of takes one step back there. We're winning! And then <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's done. Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. He can't really see out. He's going to throw a grenade at Bach. He's the only one he can target well. 20 to hit. And Hits. that would still hit even with a difficult attack there. Um, you take three and two. Um, this guy's a lot weaker than these guys. But you do need to make a con save. Bach. 18 is DC. So Ooh. Bach now has to track something. So he's got 10% radiation exposure. We'll have to do a real sheet for him. I'll just do it right here. Radiation exposure 10%. And we'll go over that in a minute, but radiation's not good. Um, he hit you, and you took that damage. Is Bach resistant to anything like that, though? Should be res resistant to fire. Lightning, thunder, radiant. Yeah. He's yeah. resistant to none, to radiant. Well, it's radiation. Well, you, so it's a yeah, yeah, radiation's uh, different. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different thing. Radiance is radiation from the gods. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's his turn. All right. That guy's dead. All right. Number one. Let's move these guys out of the way. Get them on the GM layer so we're not dealing with them. All right. So they step over their dead friends. And he comes to hit you, Bach, with his axe. They're noticing you first. So that is a hit. Make make a con save, and I think you're resistant to poison as well. Mm. Oh, you're immune, immune. to poison. Mm -hmm. immune yeah, to the poison. poison just doesn't affect Bach at all. So you took 10 slashing damage only. Um, so he'll do it again. He doesn't really understand that you're resistant to it. 12 to hit's going to miss. It. And then a sickle attack. It's a 15. That's going to miss. All right. Um, he does get the heal, though. Okay, let's do that healing first before we move on from him. He gained 25 hit points back. He's back up to full. All right. Butcher 3 also gets the heal. Start of their turn, actually. He's got 27 hit points back. That's full for him. All right, he moves out like that and attacks Thorndale. Are you still prone? I'm yeah. Still prone. <laughs> <laughs> Just you never around. stood up. All right, 19. No, well, it hasn't been my turn yet since. Okay. All right, go ahead and con save for me. Against the poison damage. And fail. So you took yeah. 22, all right? And then he's going to do it again. Get ready to save again if he makes the attack. Yeah. 23. Actually, no. All right, no, so no. you only took 16 cool. that time. And then the sickle attack still. 
It's a 20. Yeah, 20. But you're already prone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you're good there. You don't need to roll, but Glad that I ends his turn. <laughs> yeah. The Hulk lies there. All right, it is now your turn. Yeah, I'm glad you healed up. All right. Um. Yeah, he's going to stand up. Oh shit, that takes my movement. Uh. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Fuck it. He'll Half stand your up. movement. Yeah, but um, what I was gonna do, you can't move at all. Um. Oh, but it, you're it's gonna fine. Teleport away. Yeah, but I'll just stand up and uh, mind thrust him. Or the one in front of me, number three. Sorry. You're no longer grappled, because I think you were grappled by a different guy. By the Hulk, wasn't uh, he? By yeah. the Hulk, so he's dead anyway. Um, and that's uh, intelligence? Yeah, an intelligence save. Okay. Uh, and I'm still focused on the one. I unchecked the two, but I forgot to check it back, so it's actually your 28. He well, he's got, a nat he's got a 20 non-natural for his intelligence save. Alright, well, he doesn't take shit, then. Ugh. Um... Man. And my turn has been wasted. Yep. That's my turn. Alright, Cavs next. Don't uh... heal me, just kill them. <laughs> I'm just gonna cast a guiding bolt at number uh, three. Okay. Uh, where is it at? There it is. Just hit. Because it was a difficult shot. Well, yeah, you're it's, you're shooting past Thornville, so it's right. Gets a, he gets partial cover, but it hit. Hit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, how how do you do the damage? Click on the lettering there that says guiding bolt. On the lettering. In the, in the chat. In the chat. Yeah, right where it says guiding bolt. Plus oh, okay. Nine. I got you. You can Underneath change it on your sheet to always feet. roll damage. So do that yeah. later. But yep. you did ten. And radiant damage. Oh and, wow, two ones in there. That sucks. Yeah, it's um, it is sucky. But uh, the next person that attacks him has advantage. Okay. Um, because oh so wonderful guiding bolt. Guns. Okay. And is that your turn or no? Uh, that was my action. I'm gonna give uh, Thordale twelve hit points back from healing word okay got it and that's my turn thank you all right bach mm -hmm. is next all right he's gonna do the old one too um so he's gonna do two one at a time to number one one. Just do, just attack them with the first one. Don't click it twice. So, all right, it hits number one. Uh, you did twelve fire damage, and he needs to make his con save. Yeah, just he keep attacking. And he failed. So it's one d ten damage. One d ten fire at start. Okay, make your next attack. The 19 that hits um, for 15 more fire damage. And then I think you get to make, I think it's like what? What does it say if you hit the same one twice? 1d20 to see if I get a natural 20, which I did not. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, Gerlax next. Okay. Uh, give me one minute. Let's see. Um, I am going to. Hmm. Can I move? Uh, right here. No. That I wall can't. would. That wall would prevent you from squeezing past. Oh, okay, him, like okay. That. I was wondering about that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna attack number one. Okay. All right. Yeah, that that hits him for eight damage. 
Oh, that was a shit roll. A two and a one. Damn. All right, second attack. That hits. And more third damage. attack. Okay, that also hits for 12. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the end of my turn for attacks. Three attacks. All right. All right, is Lyra's turn. She will... I think she'll just have to do a Psychic Blast on number one. So, see, uh, 24. If he fails his wisdom, he takes full damage. How much did I do? 30 points of damage to him? He failed. Something less than that, dude, I think. Yeah, well, about 30. I'm yeah, right about 30. 30. I did 30, yeah. exactly. She just hit him for 24, though. Um, but he didn't die. Oh. She'll, st she'll stay there. All right, it's the chemist's turn. Uh, he's going to step up and toss um, a grenade at Bach again. 23 to hit. Hits. And Bach took 10 damage. Um, make a con save. That's actually a pretty high DC. Yeah. It's the only thing he really does. So, so Bach, now you're at 20% radiation exposure. Okay. okay. I'm putting that on the sheet underneath, like, traits and stuff, so. And we'll go over that at the end. All right, so that's its turn. That one's dead. All right, Butcher, number one. Uh, I'll roll the fire damage first. See what he gets here. He took three damage, but he's still on fire. But he still heals. He still does his mutant regeneration for 2d10 plus 10. They heal pretty fiercely with this. He gets 14 back. Not as high as some of the other rolls. So, all right, but it's his turn. Uh, he will attack with his axe on against Box, since you were the last one he was aggroed on. He missed that. 16 definitely misses you. Deflects off of your uh, tightness hide. A 13 miss. And a 28 to crit. You took 10 damage from the stickle, though, Bach. And you need to make a dex save, Bach. All right, you fell prone. Pray he doesn't have good on the tube. <laughs> That's a turn. All right, butcher three. Gets the heal right away. These guys are nasty, huh? Wow. Back to full. Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, and then um, he's going to attack Thorndill. Thorndill, are you still prone or? No, I stood up. Okay. 26. Matter. Uh, make a con save here. All right, you made it, so you only took 11. And then again. I roll high on the squishy people. Oh, God. Oh, kid. Uh, oh, God. No, kid. Another... <laughs> so, oh, God. All right, that's... It's 17 right away. All right, and then the con save did save, so... That's... Uh, Twenty-four and, and half of twenty-four is twelve. So you twelve poison damage for that, plus the critical hit table. Oh, he gets one extra attack. But it's at disadvantage. Whatever rolls. There we go. All right. It was a 16. It was a 16. Ooh, um, he had a crit for that one. failure for that one. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay. He's All gonna, right, it does miss. Get back here. Oh. Shit. Okay. Uh, so with his last attack, he will attack. He'll turn around to face Bach and attack with a 24. Bach takes another nine slashing damage. 
but box already prone, so now I need to roll that. Um, Alright, Thorndale's turn. Alright, Thorndale is going to back the fuck up. He's gonna kind of run back here. Uh, number three. Intelligence. Alright. Yep. For some reason, these guys have been rolling great on intelligence. They 22. Have... God, Jesus. Man. Alright, well. There's some intelligent mutants. I'm not up front, and, um. Yeah, he's just gonna yell, Don't worry about me, let's just kill them! And, uh, that's his turn. It's like the only thing that they roll high on every time, too. They have intelligence as a saving throw. That's why. They're, these guys are incredibly smart because of the radiation, I guess. I don't know. Um. Well, they look they have an enhanced brain. Me. Yeah. Alright, is that your turn, yeah, or? All right, Cav, you're next. I'm going to run over here, and I'm going to uh, do pres Channel Divinity Preserve Life oh. and bring Thurldo back to 44 hit points. Just to 44? So I, I can... I only can do, to his half? It's only to his half. I can do 55 hit points and all. Okay. So I'll... Do uh, he was at 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was at 12. So I think he was like 32. 32. 32. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then uh, the tw 23 to uh, Bach. Okay. But box above his half. Oh, he is above his half, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I'd save it then, because it's going to be a waste if you just do that much on me. Yeah. Uh, it's. Not, I mean, I have two of them. I get them at, get them back at a short rest. So. That's up to you. I mean, I'm out of. I'm I, out of I, like combat range right now. So. Yeah. I, now I, it's got to heal Bach. I can't. Oh, well, I can do a uh, bonus action on that. I'll. Okay. Stay with that, and I'll just let the hit, hit points go, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no one else can benefit from yeah, it. Yeah, nobody else. So I'll just, I'll, that's my action, and then I'll do a uh, bonus action of a healing word for 12 hit points for Bach. Okay. And All right. That's, that's my turn. All right. Bach's next. You're prone, Bach. I get up. All right. And I flame claws number one. All right. It's going to miss. Um, since I stood up, do I still get to do my multi attack? Yeah, yeah, you don't lose that. I do that again. Nice 13 miss. misses. Oh, that's that's your action. All right. Gerlach. Okay, I will attack number one. All right. Oh, that that's a uh, miss. missed. Yeah. All right, second attack. That's a miss. Oh. The fumble. Yep. Oh, that's nice. Third attack. Damn. It's a miss. Man. Oh man, what the fuck? Yeah. That sucks ass. God All right. damn, I missed all my attacks. That right. turn, you can stay there. Uh, well, yeah. All right. Of course, I don't want them running after all the squishies. Yeah. All right, Lyra, come on. Blast number one. She's gonna try and kill on here. Yeah. Uh, Blast nineteen. So if he fails, it's wisdom. You got a three, so it's nineteen damage is enough to kill number one. Number one dies. Nice. She puts him down. His head explodes. <laughs> yep. From the inside. She's like, take that, you vicious creatures. And she steps <laughs> back a little bit more. All right. The chemist is going to toss another grenade at Bach. It's only a 10. It splashes on the ground nearby. And miss, though. So. 
he's going to take a few steps back here. Actually, over there. You guys want to stop him. All right, number three, Butcher will um, attack Bach. If it rolls. Ah. All right, hitting it twice. All right, there goes one. 24 to hit. That's going to hit Bach for 13 slashing damage because he's immune to the poison. And then the 20 hits for 12 damage. Here comes the sickle. 11, so a miss. All right, Thorndilly next. Jesus. Um, all my shit is intelligence saves. God dang it. Um, well, except for one, but they're probably good at strength too, I would say. Um, tell you what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna point at um at Gerlach and uh, finish it. <laughs> so he gets one attack. Yeah. All right, Gerlach, make one attack against number three. Okay. That's enough to hit, and it does nine slashing damage. Well, it's, been, it's more than I've been doing. <laughs> That's his turn. Yeah. All right, back to Cav again. Going through All the right. real quick now. I'm going to run over to Bach and dump a level two uh, cure wounds into him, which will okay. be 25 hit points. Thank right. You. 25. Got it. Yep. All right. 65 hit points now for Bach. And I'm running out of heals, guys. That's going to be my turn. The Bach's heal tank turn. is running out. Um, all right. Bach's going to attack number three with both of his flame claws. All right, that definitely hits him. Um, that had advantage too, so 22 fire damage, and he needs to make a save. I think it's Khan, yeah. He got a 15, so he is set on fire. 1d10, fire at start of turn, okay. Go ahead with your next attack. He's on fire already. That is also enough to hit. Seven more fire damage. And then roll a d20. I forget what it does, though. Alright, that doesn't happen. It's like a burst of flame or something. I can't Gives him more fire damage. Okay. Alright, that's your turn, right? And that's my turn. Alright, Gerlach, you're next. Okay, Grillak wants to get in a strategic, uh, is gonna try to flank this guy. So he's gonna move five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You could have just moved like right to here. No, no, 30. And uh -huh. if I attack him here, I get advantage. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Yeah. All right, so um, let's see. First attack. Anyway. Oh, good thing I get a in first attack. <laughs> Does hit for 15. Yep. Second attack. Uh, also a hit for 10. Third attack. 22 hits for nine. He's still yeah. alive. I did a lot of damage that time. All together. Good, yeah. I did like over 30. Yeah. All right, the end of turn. Oh, no, not 30, but... Well... Okay. It was like... Like 20... Uh, 24. What? No. No, th uh, 34, sorry. Yeah, 34, th yeah. 25 plus 9, 34. Sorry. Yeah, okay. All right, Lyra is going to do a Psychic Blast on Mutant Butcher. It's 
21, he takes damage and dies automatically there. Yeah, he, he didn't have enough to, even if he resisted part of it. All right, she's like, the other one's getting away. She's going to move up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and she's going to stay there. And then the chemist is going to interact with the object, open uh -oh. this door here, and go get his friends. He's going to dash. Seriously? Five, Mike ten, just wants the TKP. 5, <laughs> 30, 35, 40. Okay. So there's more friends in the battle. God damn it. He dashed as his action. All right, Thorndil, you're next. Shit. Um, did which way did he dash from here? Like, did he dash down this way or up this way? Dash down the hallway. I can only see. Like sh straight across, like west. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think he knew. That's where he's going. He'll get right here by Lyra and hold his action to mind thrust if he sees somebody coming. You guys could always run away from here if you needed to. So I yeah. love that idea. You would love that, wouldn't you? You, you want to grab his, Avi's yeah. body, probably. But. I take that back. Yeah, he's going to dash up to her body to grab it. That's what he's gonna do. We're getting out of here. All right. Interact That's with objects. You, um. How strong are you? Not and how much can you here. pick up? Um, I have an 11 streak, which is a plus zero. Make I a strength check. Be the one that can kill Make a strength you. check if you're gonna try it, because that's, that's a lot of weight. He weighs at least 100 pounds, so. All right, you're not able to lift them on your own. I could carry that with my pinky. Yeah, you, you don't get them up. Well, you're trying then, to lift them. You're trying to lift the body, but it's dead weight and you can't. Yeah, he dashes up and, and realizes that he can't drag it. And he's like, Gerlach, get over here. We're leaving. And that's his turn. Okay. That, was, that was your turn, though, right? All right, yep. so more creatures enter the fray. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30. Since it's since it's my turn, or it's mutant Hulk guy next, isn't it? Alls. Yeah, he's dashing up. He interacts with the object right here. There's a door along the hallway, and more creatures enter the battle. All right, um, I'm pulling out my chainsaw. I need a. All right. Roll up stat for it. How much damage does it do? I think it was 2d10. Uh, okay. said 2d10 plus strength. Yep. Yep. Uh, 2d10 plus strength. Plus your proficiency to hit too. So it's it's going to be it's going to be both things. So that's your attack modifier. All right. So a bunch of a bunch more are now entering. Mutant Hound. And this guy is... He's a mutate. Not a mutant, but a mutate. The physical variety. All right, that is his turn. All right, Cav, you're next. Can I run up to Avi's body and cast Revivify? How long does it take to cast it? One action. Yeah, I mean, what's, how long does that let you? 
it's one minute. It has not been one minute yet. It hasn't I'll, been I'll, one uh, minute. I'll We're only on. Up. I'll put yeah. it up there for you. You can cast that, yeah. Okay. I'll if you touch a creature that has died within the last minute, the creature returns to life with one hit point. Okay. Uh, Avi, you're back with one health. All right. Yay, Avi! Yay. Don't try to kill you. I think you purposely tried to kill yourself. What? Just saying, you know. Who would do that? You. <laughs> you would. <laughs> and then I will, uh, since Avi wasn't in my uh, beacon of hope, I will yeah. have to, I will uh, cast uh, Asha. Yeah, he was dead but, at the time. Yeah, he was. He, he was unfortunately dead. But I yeah. think I can catch... A healing word, or I was gonna do mass healing word to heal everyone uh, fourteen hit points, and then I'll have to roll for Avi. Okay. Um. It's a bonus action. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. I'm how how many hit points? Oh. How many hit points? Uh, for everyone. Yeah. Within uh, 30 feet is 14 hit points. All right. right. Let me get everybody. All right. 14 for Gerlach. Lyra doesn't need any. Bach gets 14, right? Correct. Um, And then Thorndale gets 14. Correct. And then you don't need any. I do not need any. No. So and you got to just uh, roll for Avi. Yeah. Avi would get a... Uh, Eight more. Is it going to be uh, eight, plus your uh, bosses? Plus, plus five. So, oh, because you rolled max? Right, right, right. Well, if they were getting 14. Well, no, that, that wasn't max. That's weird. Or they would have gotten more than 14. Is mass Is healing just... words still a D8? No, it's a... Mass healing word is just a one d four. Oh, plus the five it, wisdom. Okay, correct. and then yeah, yeah. what do you? You also get three more on top of that for being your class, right? Your subclass. Right. Right. Uh, ob five 11. more. Five more. How's it five? It's two plus spell level, and it's a third okay. level spell. It's a third level spell. All right, so he gets thirteen more hit points then. Right, almost max. Huh. That's, almost. That's nice. Yeah. Almost max. Does this ah <laughs> uh, chainsaw do have any like bleed effects, anything like that? Huh. I was wondering. No, it, it causes an injury. Like, remember when I linked it earlier? Hold on. No, if I don't. Hits, okay. just auto you got to write. Yeah, basically. You can huh. cause injuries with it. All right. I don't know where to add that at, um, but okay. In the text of like I the- I know, uh, I'm trying to figure out where. This, like, is, this is the thing here. It's at the bottom of the uh, the input thing. Of the edit. Oh, that's the input of the- We gotta move on. All right, so Cad, that was your action that, that's and my bonus turn. action. That was my action and bonus action, that's it. That's all. all right. Box turn. Sorry, I stepped away to get coffee. Figure that out, Gerlach. Right there. Boom. That's what you have to do. Yeah. I just, I did it. I did it. Okay. Yeah, they still get to make a deck save or avoid to avoid it. Spelled chainsaw wrong, by the way. You know what? I, I get a motherfucking A for effort. It's a special kind of <laughs> Cheyenne saw. It's, it's a. a <laughs> it's a. Bugger. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> no, I like it the way it is. No, it looks stupid. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you calling me stupid? I could call you a lot of things, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. 
What are you doing, Bach? So... We'll take a break as, if you guys escape. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry, I just want to look through a few more of these. Nope. The party nope. seems to want to get the fuck out of here, but... Um, what I'm going to do <laughs> is cast Wall of Fire. Ah. Oh, there I was going to go. suggest doing something good, so... There you go. Yeah, fire. I was just <laughs> fireball. I was just it actually cast fireball, but um, but I'm gonna cast it so it blocks this, so uh, like that. Yeah, you want it like that, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, do you I'm want it like all like, the way across here, yeah. or just? Yeah. I mean, how about that? Yeah, that's fine. And then, um, I'm gonna say. Let's run! Oh, far away! Y you gotta concentrate, by the way. I'm concentrating, but I'm also gonna run. And, like, tell everybody to come with me. And that's my turn. Where did you go? Oh, sure. I'm up there. Okay. That's your turn, huh? All right. Well, when you um, say it like that, it makes me feel like maybe it's not. But yeah, it's my turn. <laughs> All right, it's now Gerlach's turn. Okay. All right, these guys... You could ran. probably take them if you wanted to, but it's up to you guys. They got to go through the wall of fire now, so... so do you run down this hall or this down in here? They ran straight to the west. Okay. You don't know that, but they're down there. Oh, they sure are. Um, wall of fire. Um, okay. What, um, what side is the flame on? Is it fl facing them or facing us? Probably facing them. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you allowed to shoot through the wall of fire? Yeah, I think so. I think depends. Wind, the wall of wind is the only one you're not not allowed to shoot through. Okay. A wall of fire. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna take out my uh, recruit bow. Hold on, and... let me double check because we never got that length. Stop leaving these goddamn things open! Damn it. Who? Melissa. She just. What? That's for information. Oh, um, those people. On a failed save, a creature takes five. <sighs> the, 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 the creature has the same out. There's nothing about projectiles not being able to pass through it, so. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, I'm going to attack with my regular uh, modern recurve bow. Okay. Because um, I got a bunch of arrows. And I'm gonna uh, uh, attack number two. All right. And you can so, do it up to three times because yep. you're a fighter. All right, okay, you yeah. hit number two. Um, and what kind of arrow are you using? Is it special? I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually. That's why I clicked on minor recurve. It's just regular arrows. It's not the special arrows. All right. I gotta find them. Um, I think, yeah. That's let me get rid of some of these that are no longer relevant here. All right, leave Panther in there. All right, so Mutant Hulk to yeah, it definitely hits him for. Let me see something here. I think he might be resistant. Oh. Yep, does about half. So. Six damage. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. Uh, screw it. Uh, I'll attack again. It's a natural one. Yeah, net one and a net 20. It won't Stop do much, up. though. Oh, man. <laughs> You did nine damage to yourself somehow. 
Like he just got incapacitated. Using a bow? Apparently, yeah. All right. Uh, for one round, but. All right, well, then I guess I'll send him my turn. The bowstring smacks you across the face as you release. You don't run or anything? Well, no, I'm, I'm incapacitated. Oh, yeah. I was going to be the last one out, make sure everybody else gets out. All right, so here they come. If there's uh, anyone left fighting, uh, it's me. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, so roll the damage for the flame wall. It's number three. It's going to be 5d8 fire, and he's going to make a deck save. The 18, he failed. Roll the 5d8, Melissa. All right, he just took 20 damage from that. And he just charges through. Um, so he's dashing straight out to Avi. Wouldn't it be caught on fire? Does it say anything about it? No. I think Wall of Fire is way more powerful than that. That you no. just can't run through it either. Nope. Like you take damage you 10 high. feet out to begin with. And yeah. Nope. You can move through it. And, and it doesn't set you on fire. It just, it just causes yeah. you damage. I don't yeah, remember he's, fire. Well, he's going to come up to here. All right. So. All right. Avi's turn is now. All right. Remember, you died last time. Oh, Run away, I remember. Avi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Avi, Avi. You're not a melee character. Avi is going to run away. You mean disengage? It's going to disengage and run away. All right, you can't move that far because you were right here. Yeah. So you're going to disengage. You can go through Cav. That's 10 to get there. That okay. puts you at 15 right there. So. 15? You got to move 20? through Gerlach. Oh. You can't move around the wall like that. So that's 10 to get through him. You're 25. Yeah. You're right about 25, 30. <laughs> All right, that's good. Oh my god. All right, Lyra, she's like, are we fighting? I guess so. No! We're leaving. We're leaving! Well, she will, for, for good measure, she'll psychic blast and run after that, afterwards. All right, so 11 or half of that. So wisdom save on number three. He... F he saved, so he took five damage. That's not a lot. So she's like, all right, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She doesn't want to get too far away from, from you guys. So, okay, the chemist, five, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, let's see how far his grenades can go. Not very far. Hey, he can't quite. He's only gonna. He's gonna have to dash up to there. Um. All right. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty-five. Forty. Oh, is that a boss? Five. That 15. guy would have took damage automatically before he even got to that wall of fire. No, he takes it as he steps through it. Within if he starts minutes. this turn, yeah, well, roll the damage. I know that. I know it's coming. He's still just moving through. What is the save type again? Is it dex? Yeah. He got a 15, so he failed. He took 25 da damage there. All right, so he's got 10 more feet of movement. They're dashing through it. All right, here come the hounds. You guys are going to die. Five, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Go ahead and roll that 5d8 again. Damn. Some good rolls. Yeah, he he got hit pretty good. Um, 30 damage. You guys could probably kill them. Um, so he's going to just dash over to here. Get ready to roll again because another one's coming. 5, 15, 20, 25, 30. Dash. Uh, 10, 15, 20. Go ahead and roll again. Did you so see that 27? 27, 27. Yeah. Okay. He passed, um, so he only takes partial damage. Um, so there's, uh, get to about here. Um, so that's half damage, right? So it's that going to be 13. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Thorndale, you're next. Shit, bro. I know what I'm gonna do. At least move out of the room and then do something. What are you doing? Stairs. Like on these guys here, um, in a 20 foot cube, I'm going to attempt to stun them. Okay. Is that another intelligence save? Jeez. Pound one. Failed. So he takes 26? Yeah, not the two. Not the two. Just the not two. the two? And he failed to save, so. <coughs> He's stunned. He's stunned until the end of my next turn. All right. You guys could probably easily kill these now because you have the advantage. Um, Mutant Hulk. Intelligence save for him. He got a seven. It was 26, right? Number, he's going to be number three. Cool. All right. Where is he at? 26, right? Yes. Damn. This is actually good. This is like um, my, my top tier assault thing. So. Right, it's one of your better things. What's your DC in 19? Yep. All right, the hound, the other hound failed. So 20, 26 damage, and he's also stunned. Okay, and then the mutate. He failed too. So 26 damage. Pretty sure you guys could just utterly destroy them here. All right, that's your action. Just for good measure, he's gonna back up. And that's his turn. Okay. All right, um, Hulk to Five, ten. Go ahead and uh, roll the uh, damage for the wall of fire. It's got a fifteen. So five, the eight damage to number two. Whenever you're ready. Actually, he gets to heal first. Bach. Bach. We're waiting for you. Didn't she you roll. see it? No. 15. Oh. No. Yeah, I did. 15. I see it now. Yeah. 
All right, so he failed. Um, he took 15 damage. All right, and he passes through the wall. He's at five. He's at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, he's gonna dash to get right here on Cav. Okay, Cav, your turn. I'm gonna use my action disengage and run away like a bitch. And I think that's as far as uh, one, two, three. There, that's as far as I can get. Okay. Did you want to do anything else? Uh, I had to use my action to disengage, so no. Not really anything I can do at this point. Okay. All right. Box turn. Uh, okay. Um, guess he'll come back to here. And Hold the rings. He'll cast a fireball so there that go. it's. Yeah. You're going to want to hit everybody. There. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So I think it's a DC 18 for you. Just a second. Can I upcast then, or I can't upcast? Mm. It it is what it is with okay. you. You get more okay. spells, but you can't upcast. He's okay. kind of a different character. That's fine. So twenty nine damage. All right. So a lot of saving throw rolls tonight. So save for the hound. First hound. It's all dexterity. So the first hound took twenty nine damage. I stunned. Do they get a save? Um. I don't remember. Nope, no saves. So they all take twenty-nine damage. The hound mm-hmm. takes twenty-nine, and it's dead. Thank you for reminding me of that. Um, the mutant Hulk number three um, takes twenty-nine. Um, the other hound takes twenty-nine. And the mutate is going to take 29 as well. And that kills him. And then Mutant Hulk 2 take 29 damage. But I he's think, still alive. Uh, 2 is the one that wasn't stunned. I think he would actually still be the rule. Oh, yeah. yeah he, he came in later. All right. He actually passed. Half of 29 gonna be 14. <sighs> 14. Yeah. All right. So that was good. I did something good. Yay, you did. All right. That is your action to do that. Mm-hmm. That's my turn. Okay. All right. Gerlach. All right. Is this wall right here? In my way of attacking number two? I would say so. Okay. So. Gotta move up. All I have to do is move right here then. And attack number two. Yeah. You can do that. All right. And uh, chainsaw attack. All right. That's a hit. Um, 23 damage. DC. See how? Yeah, that's that's rolling right. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but he resists half of it, so. Well, he has to make a DC save. I know. Oh, he I'm gonna make that right that? now. It's yeah. not magical or anything, God so. Damn it. He got a twenty-three on his save. Okay. Uh. Damn, second attack. That, that's going to miss. All right. Third attack. That hits. So 
That's 11 more damage, and he'll, he'll make another save. Damn, Chainsaw did over 40, about 45 damage. Well, he failed. Yeah. So he's got he's got one injury. Okay. Automatically. Injury. Nice. Okay. So my three attacks against him. I'm gonna hold the line, holding the line right here. Fuck All it. Right. This is the last stand. All right. End the turn. Okay. Then uh, that guy's stunned. There's a lot of stunned people. Okay. Avi's next. All right. <clears throat> He is going to move five, ten. Then he's going to um, use his sniper rifle. rifle on number three. Yeah, fuck number three up. Okay. Um, That's plus four, right? You have advantage on this too, so it does hit number three. Um, twelve. Twelve total. Okay, go ahead. Wait, wouldn't it be seventeen? Yeah. No, that's a different. That's angle. for a different type of round. That's a seven six two. Oh, okay. She's using a five five six. Same. Right. Twenty eight to hit is going to hit, so that's plus four, seventeen damage. He's bloodied. Nice. Shoot him again. She's done it. She's done her attacks. um, Oh, she already did two attacks? 20. 25. All right. That's my turn. All right. Lyra is going to, I guess, come back. She's like, what are we doing? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. She'll, She'll psychic blast number... Number three. Oh, number three. So that killed him because yes. he does. He even if he saves, it's enough to just not come back. And she's gonna move over there. One. Okay. All right. The chemist is like trying to inch his way up here. Does he catch fall of fire? Nah, he, I'm not moving him up yet. He comes back here and opens up another door. He opens right. up this door and it adds two more combatants to the fight. You know what? These guys needed to be killed anyways. Yeah. I would like, I would ask if we could take a 10 minute break though and come back to combat after the end of the yeah. round. To take one. Um, we can go ahead and uh, we can do that okay. real quick. I'd appreciate so. it. All right. Let's go ahead and I'll stop the music just for now. We'll pick right up with his turn there. All right. Take, take 10 there. Sorry, this is going to be a long battle night. You still haven't found <laughs> the guy. So. Right. I know. The this is the worst place to go. This is like... The whole idea was just to to go underground was for you guys to avoid this building. So, all right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're all right. We're back. Um, good idea with pausing it there. Okay, so chemist's turn still here. Um, he he will just move back up a few steps. Okay. So next is meet and Hulk four. Um, he's just going to open this door here down by him. You can't see any of this. This is like happening in a different area of the map. All right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to dash 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, he'll stop there. 25. All right. And his turn. All right, Glowing Hound is stunned, and now he's not because it's Thorndale's turn. Well, at the end of my turn, he's not. Uh, okay, I thought it was at the start. You said, but no, it's uh, here. I'll pull it up. 
I I believe you. Just oh, okay. Sorry, just I, I, treat treat him as if he's stunned. Okay. Um. Well, since he wouldn't be able to make, it's Dex and Strength, correct? That they can't. Or... That they auto fail. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to Psychic Hammer him, and the two would apply to this one. All right, so he takes 19 damage. And he's moved backward uh, 10 feet. Right. He does. And he's dead from that, though. Nice. Dope. That is... Yeah. I'm going to move back just a little bit more. Um, actually, he's going to move up and kind of get a little bit in front of Avi, because that dude can make it out. And that's his turn. All right. All right, Hulk 2 will actually stay there and he'll attack Gerlach with his claws. He has reach on you, Gerlach. A 21. Is that, that hit? Hits. Yep. yep. 10. You're grappled if he hits. There's no save. It's kind of like what he does. Grapples people. Alright, and then he's going to attempt to claw you again. Um, that's a miss, but then he will move up five feet to do his, uh, his gnaw. He's got to move up for that one, I think. All right, 27. Um, mm -hmm. so he received, you take 13 damage and he gets 13 health. Plus, I forgot the roll at the start of his turn, so he gets 2d10 plus Ah, come on. Plus 10. There we go. You got 21 hit points back from that. Yeah, you got to really focus fire these guys. Um, yeah, you can switch target to target. Not too much. All right. Mutate 2 is down here. Uh, 5, 10, 15... 20, 25, 30. Can he make it through there? I think 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right, he does have to save against the fire. Roll the 5d8, Melissa. All right, he takes half because I saved with a 23. So he'll take 12 damage from the fire. Um, and that's the end of his turn. He had to dash up there. All right, Cav, your turn. Uh, I'm going to cast a uh, heal on uh, Avi, which will be 78 hit points. Isn't that touch based? It is not. I will. It's oh. uh, 60 feet. Okay. Wow. Massive healing comes down. It's straight up 70 hit points. 78 hit points. 78. All right. Yay, you know Avi! And because doesn't that also end like stuff like diseases? And stuff? Yeah, it ends uh, blindness, deafness, and any diseases. All right. Injuries. In target. Injuries too. I was gonna say injury in this case. It's injury the home play. rule, but Avi would have had one injury from that being knocked down, so that is completely gone from that. So Avi's at full health. Yeah, yep. Avi, don't commit suicide next time. Okay. <laughs> All right, and and then, that's the action. Uh, bonus, I'll do healing word on uh... Well, Thorndale's oh, yeah. pretty hurt pretty bad, and... Yeah. Uh, no, oh, Pog's fine. Yeah, I'll probably do a, I'll do a healing word on Thorndale, which would be a 14 hit points. Okay. There we go, 72 out of 88. Well, that's and that's my good. turn. Massive healing, yeah. All right, Bach, your turn. Okie doke. Um, <clears throat> I guess since we're so close, I'll just do a multi-attack with flame claws on number two. All right, that's a hit. No, for 16 no. fire damage. Hold on one second. He's got to make a con save, I think. Or be set on fire. 
he's saved. He's not set on fire yet. I'm gonna do it again. All right. <laughs> That's also a hit for 16 fire. I gotta do one more con save, and then you can roll your d20. He saved both times. Roll the d20 though. All right, it's a 12. Okay. So nothing happens. That's my turn. All right. Your luck. Okay, I might be grappled, but I'm gonna run that chainsaw right up from his underneath between up and try to cut him in half. All right. Do it. Okay. All right. 20 does hit. Okay, uh, but he takes seven damage. Second attack. Hold on. For each time, I gotta make a saving throw. He's oh yeah, you do. Yep. He made it the first time. All right. So the twenty-four hits, um, and he takes half of that, so he takes nine damage. And I gotta make him save again for that deck save. And if he gets the second injury, I gotta roll on the table. Um, he got a 14. Yeah, he saved both times. So no extra injuries. Third attack. Boom! Yes, oh, wow. motherfucker! Oh, yeah, I skull fucked this bitch. Alright, so that is 31 damage. Nice. And you killed him. Yes! I cut him all the way in half. I went right through his fucking balls. All the way up to his fucking neck and head with my yeah. fucking chainsaw. I was like, yeah, take that, motherfucker. I'm starting to like this weapon. Metal music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, end of turn. All right. I got to put a limit on how much you can use this chainsaw. <laughs> um, Avi, Avi's next. I'm just putting these guys on the GM level so we don't have to see them. Go ahead, Avi. It's your turn now. Okay, he goes here and he uses his gun and he shoots number two. All right. See, now you guys have the advantage. You're shooting them as they're coming down the hallway, so. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 most likely hit him. Uh, that does hit for, what is it, 17? Yeah, but he's resistant, I think, so. Even to firearms. Yep. Um, so that'll be half a 16, so that's 8 damage. That is also a hit, so that's 20, so he takes 10 damage. We need to get you silver bullets or adamantine bullets. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to move uh, right here. That's his turn. Okay. Lyra. Yes, it's me. All right. She's going to take one step here or five, five feet and then psychic blast the mutate. Oh, I rolled the wrong thing first, but. Chris is brain in a skull. Yeah, she's going to try. Um, 19, and he's going to make a wisdom save. <clears throat> and he gets a 19, which is beating her thing. So he only takes half of that, so he takes 9 damage. Okay. She's going to just kind of take a few steps back there. Get out of the way. All right. The chemist, who is just, like, pissed off now. 15 feet. They can see that it's hot right there. Uh, he can't quite make it. Um, all right. Fuck it. He's going to move through. Go ahead and roll the 5d8, whatever I think it was. What was the D? 32. What's her DC? 18, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he takes 32 damage. Ooh. What happens to his and now, grenades? 
<laughs> Nothing yet. Um, he's going to throw a grenade at Gerlach. 13, so miss. Misses. All right. And I'm resistant to radiant damage, too. It's not... It's, it's not radiant, though. It's no, radiation. I'm resistant to um, radiation. I have radi I have tattoos. You're, I have radiation tattoos. You're resistant to radiant. This is a special damage type that I created for the campaign. Yeah, it's radiation. Different. It's different than radiant. It's radiation. It's different. Just, yeah. Just think of it as different. It's not the same. That's that's it right there. Yes, yeah. That's, ra that's radiant. That gives you radiant. Radiant. Not radiation. Oh. All right. So this guy's moving up. He's going to move up to, like, Gerlach on a dash. Um, but go ahead and oh. roll the 5d8, Melissa, for the flaming wall. He got an 18, so that's a save. So he takes 11 damage. All right. Um, that's his turn, because he had to dash up. Thorndil. Your turn. Let's see. Well, clearly, they've been passing most of my intelligence save. So he's going to do something he rarely does. He's going to get back here. He's going to fire an arrow at number four. Okay. A longbow attack. Ignore the two, but the six. Yeah. Is... Oh, does it? Yeah, I have. Uh... Okay. Not a cantrip? It's all cantrips are, are sucking. Yeah. They're... All right. So you hit number four. Um, potent psionics. Which actually, no, no, that's Not fourteen nice. level is supposed to be two D eight. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Right. Is it correct? Okay. Yeah. Fortunately. He's resistant to everything you just hit him with, even the psychic. What? Seriously? Yeah. Oh, God. oh my god. So you did five damage to him. Well, seeing that doesn't work, he's gonna put his bow right back on his back. And <laughs> that's his turn. <laughs> Alright. Alright, mutate two. Five and fifteen, twenty. Alright, he makes it up to Bach. Um he gets to do a lot of attacks, I think, so. <laughs> wow. What? I'm just reading everything that he does. He can make four attacks here. God damn. <sighs> yeah, these guys. These guys are pretty nasty. Um. Checking something on the sheet. All right, clawing attacks against Bach. Twenty-eight damage or twenty-eight to hit. Seventeen damage against Bach. Now wait, Bach. Anytime someone hits Bach, they receive damage back. I think that's true. They do. Yeah, they get we uh, fire doing damage. That. Yeah, no, so haven't. Yeah. Um, they get one d ten fire damage. I'll just roll it since Melissa's not going to be able to do it. Uh, concentration check, please, Melissa. Roll a d20. Save. All right, you passed on the firewall. Not that it matters anymore. But you did five, six extra damage to him when he hit you. Um, this is going to take a long time <laughs> if I keep doing this. Oh, it's a critical hit, though, on Bach. What is Bach resistant to? All right, so these... I think these are all non-magical attacks, so... You actually should be taking half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, he needs to heal first. 2d10 plus 10. Yeah, we need to focus one of these guys. Say we focus number two. Um. Yeah, so Bach, you're resistant to all non-magical weapons. Mm -hmm. Bach's basically a monster, so like he gets a lot of monster-like abilities, but you still took seven damage from that. Okay. Uh, make another concentration check. All right, it's pass. Um, yep, every time. I'm rolling that now. He took three more damage from that. Uh, he claws you again. He could try to grapple you. Okay, so 16 will miss. And then one more claw attack. 15 also missed. All right, Cav, your turn. All right, I'm going to run up here. Avi. And I have a question. If I cast Holy Weapon on her sniper rifle, will that make the ammunition? Yeah, yeah, magical? it does. Magical? Yeah. Mm -mm. Then I'm going to cast... If, if that does, yeah. It does, yeah. Oh, nice, for up to one hour. Yeah. Now, are oh. you concentrating on that other ability? Uh, it just ended. It's ending next turn, so I'm dropping the concentration on that. Okay. And I'm going to uh, cast Holy Weapon on her weapon. So what all does that do? Like, summarize that up for me. It basically uh, makes her weapon uh, magical for the purposes of uh, going against a res resistances. Plus and her then, weapon does 2d8 radiant damage. Correct. On a hit. Mm, nice. And that was my oh, you, bonus. You can uh, dismiss it, and each creature of your choice you can see within 30 feet must make a con save or take all that. Wow, right. that's a cool spell, man. Yeah, that is a badass spell. Like you got holy, spell. holy bolt bullets in your gun now. Okay, so too bad you didn't do that right away. But she died, so it's not your <laughs> fault. No. All no. right, that that counts as I your action. I brought her back, I'm though. Assuming. I brought her back. You you totally did. <laughs> Wait, that's your bonus action. That's a bonus action. So I'm going to use a. Dude, sacred... that's a powerful bonus action. I'm going to yeah, use a can... sacred flame on uh number two. That's Dex, right? Yes. All right. That's a seventeen. He failed. So he failed. roll the damage. It's three D eight at this level. Three D eight, nice. Yeah. Wow, oh, what a shitty that roll. Was bad. Yeah. That is a shitty roll. Well, is is that radiant? That is radiant. All right. He, this particular guy is not resistant to radiant. Oh, nice. As you can tell from <laughs> from that, so so he took he took eight. Took, took, eight eight, took the full damage. Mm -hmm. And that's my turn. All right. Bach, your turn. Okay. He is um, going to do his flame claw again on number two. The miss. 13 so doesn't again. hit. Now that will. Okay. So number two is. 14 fire damage, and he needs to make a con save or be set on fire. I gave it a pretty hard save to, like, pass, to. All right, he did. He got a 17, so he doesn't get set on fire. And you don't roll the d20 this time, because... Mm -hmm. All right, That's is that your turn? turn? All right. Gerlach, you're, ne you're next. I'm going to attack number two with the chainsaw. All right. All right. That definitely hits, but it's only going to do 10 damage to him. Okay. I'm going oh, he's going to make a dex save. Hold on. Yeah, he has to make a dex save. Too, I put too many saving throws in this, but okay. So 14, he passed. Okay. Second attack. That's a miss. That missed, yeah. 
third attack. Does that hit? Uh, nope. Damn it. Mm. Fuck. All right. Yeah. Um, end of my turn. All right. Avi, you got a holy weapon now, so. Shoot him up. Take Can out number two. Shoot number two from where he's at. We'll get yeah, more line can, of sight. You can. Get, okay. It's a little bit harder of a shot, but you can get line of sight. Like just move. now, the Hulk has a ten foot reach, so if you try to move right now, that you know, oh. you can move right behind someone. But it, no, it's not going to matter. He's still going to have defense against your shot. Okay. Still a harder shot. Right, so twenty will hit from right where you're at, and you hit him. And for 13 it. piercing damage. Well, no, 17 piercing damage on number two. Because mm -hmm. uh, it's magical now. And then do, what is it, 2d8? 2d8. Yep, extra 2D8. damage. Roll 2d8. All right. Come on, Avi. Come on, that's a button. Nice. That's a Good great job. spell. That is All a right. fucking awesome spell. <laughs> I, I like yeah. that spell. Yeah, Hi. that's all there for the Good um, job. And that just the eleven is enough to take him out. He's he's yes. down now. Good job, nice. Bobby. <laughs> he's dead. All right. Actions done. So. And that's his turn. All right, you just move. So if you move there, I get an attack. Don't yeah, don't move. What are you doing? How do you get an attack? Where are you? From number four. Number yeah, four. Yeah, I can reach you. You've noticed he has a ten foot reach, so he's got extremely I'm long feet limbs. away. But okay. Now he's ten feet away from you. All right, is that your turn? I guess. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. How long does the holy weapon last? An, An hour. hour. An hour? Yeah. Yep. That's totally worth it. Oh um, yeah. Psychic Blast on number four. Um, actually, hold on a minute. How far does can she do that? 100 feet. She's going to Psychic Blast the Chemist in the back row. Yeah, take that, that out. She, someone needs to get him dead. He yeah. needs to make a Wisdom save. We'll take number four. Ah, he made it. So he, he, he only took 12 damage. Is he wow. resistant to psychic? They seem to be resistant to a lot of stuff. All right, so he's not, but still, okay. That's her turn, and then it is the chemist's turn. He'll take five feet step and toss this grenade at Gerlach. Yeah. 23. That mm. actually hits. All right, you only take two damage right away. Um, but you do need to make a con save or you get that radiation exposure. You did not pass. Damn, yeah, that's a decent So thing. you get 10% oh. radiation. So wait, somewhere wait, I, I want to use like, my I, I'll do it for right you. Now. I want to use my indomitable. Oh, indomitable. Didn't you use it again last No, week? we did a short rest. I have one charge. If you look at my character sheet. I have one it's a long rest, but yeah. All right, we took a long rest. Do so. do all right. So does that just give you advantage? They that um, you get to roll again and take the take that yeah. one. Well, yeah. there's the twenty two right there. So that's yeah, okay. it's just that's advantage. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. So you passed. You don't receive right. radiation. So you okay. use your indomitable though. Make sure you mark. Yeah, that. I did. I did. I marked it off. All right. All right. That's his turn. He's just gonna stay there. All right, Hulk four, um, will attack Gerlach. Of course, come at me, bro. Eight. That misses. All right, gets one more. I think. Move, wow, 30. thirty. God damn, that's a high roll. It's not even yeah. a crit. Now yeah. they they're strong, dude. Um. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Make uh, you're I'm grappled busy. anyway, so. 
plus he's 11 gonna... for their strength. Jeez. All right, that's the Null attack. So he's he's at full health again. Um, yep. You received uh, 12 damage. Yep. Okay. Yep. That would end his turn. Okay, Thorndil, you're next. Oh, I just had an idea. I'm gonna psychic hammer uh, the little chemist dude back there. And yes, if he fails, everybody. He's going into the fire. Everybody, kill the psychic dude. If you're ranged. All right, he's gonna do. It's only if he starts or passes into it, though. Oh, well, he'll start his turn there if he fails. Yeah. All right, he failed. He gets pushed back ten feet into the fire. Nice. Um, it's 15 damage to him. Yes, sir. All right, he takes that. I don't think he he's he doesn't get like that regeneration shit. Now nah, he's different. Okay. All right. Good thing. All right. Have you're next. Do a sacred flame on. Number four. Alright. That's a better roll. That is a whole lot better roll. But he got a 19 on his deck save. It doesn't matter then. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh... Let me see. How many more of those free healing words do you I'm have out. I am completely out of those. I've been having to dip into my uh, spell slots. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna use a, a second level, a uh, healing word on uh, Garlac. Okay. Roll it up. Yep. <laughs> wow, that was only, a shitty fucking roll. That's only seven. Okay. Well, it's something. Yep. All it's right. Seven. Well, don't you 10. add all your stuff Yeah, it'd it be 10. It'd be 10. Okay. Yeah. So, three more then. Okay, Correct. 66. Yep. And that's my turn. Okay, box turn. All right. Um, he is going to cast Firebolt to the Psychic. The Chemist, you mean? The Chemist, sorry. Wow. Good you job. You incinerate him. <laughs> nice. He dies. <laughs> Outright. And that's his turn. Okay, he's dead. All right, good job. All right, Gerlach, you're next. Okay. So, uh, Hulk is regenerating faster than you can kill him, but he's yep. still standing um, there. Chainsawing number four. It does like hit. DC. Yeah, so he takes half of that right away. Um, so that's going to be 12 damage. All right. 18, he passed. Okay, second attack. Another 12 damage. And he gets the save again. All right, that time he got an injury. Um, uh, let's see, one injury. Okay. Third attack. Oh, that's a miss. That's a miss. Yeah. And um, just because I'm a little low, I think it'd be a good time to use second wind. So let's see okay. that. 1d10 plus 11. 11. 1d10 plus 11. Let's see. Events roller. Roll. 1d10 plus 11. All right. Alright, so I get back 21 hit points. Damn, that's max. It's 
That's nice. Good. Yeah. Yep. 87 right. hit points. Okay. All right. Uh, end of turn. Okay. Wind. Avi's next. All right. He is going to shoot. And. That is a miss. I'll try again. That hits. Okay. So. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> so that's 18. Right? 19. 19. 19. Plus 2d10. Um, yeah, yep. it's 2d8. Oh, 2d8. Yeah, 2d8. Yeah. He's resistant to Radiant, though. <laughs> yeah, he takes four more damage from that. Okay, that was both attacks, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's his turn. Okay. Uh, Lyra. Okay, so Psychic Blast. She's going to keep blasting them. That's all she can do. She's a mentalist. She doesn't have any, many other damaging abilities. So 27. He's going to make a save. Wisdom. And he failed. So he takes 27 damage from that. And now he's looking pretty weak. She stays there. All right. The chemist is dead. It's his turn. So he rolls to regenerate. Right away. Receiving back 19. Right off the top there. And then he gets to make his attack rolls on Gerlach. 26 to hit. That's a hit. Yeah, he took nine slashing damage. And then another one. You're still grappled. So 20. That hits. Mm -hmm. 13 more. And then he's going to try to gnaw you. That's a crit. Damn! Yeah. So, 23 damage. Good thing you did your, your second win, right? Yep. Um, we did it. And then the table. Conspiracy. The next hit landed on the foe is an automatic critical hit. And you're blinded for one round. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, and triple damage. So it's another 2d6. That's one of the worst ones to get on that. Yeah. So you did it. You took another 10 damage. Ugh. You're down to 32 hit points. That was yep. the worst possible thing there. Okay. Thorndil. God, fuck them up do against these guys. It doesn't fucking work. Um, I'm just gonna run up and heal Gerlach. I'm gonna do five side. All right. Cool, five. Five D eight. Okay. Yeah. Is it any bonuses or modifiers? No, it's just straight D eights. Okay. Fifty two hit points now. Yeah, that's not much, but I can't contribute any other way to this thing, so <laughs> I'll end my turn. Alright. Alright, Ke Ev's next. Uh I'm gonna sacred flame him again. We get back to our other page. Okay. He got a 22. Oh, yeah, he saved. Then uh, I'm going to do a healing word. Hey, guys. Sip here. Fourth level. What's up? Fourth level? Fourth level, yeah. All right. On a girl like. That's good. Yeah. Good roll there. Well, kind of. Kind of. The, the plus 11. Plus 11. Is is, is that the bonuses? Or uh, that, that? Yeah, that's the bonuses. Okay. All right. <clears throat> turn? That's my turn. Yeah. All right, Bach, you're next. 
Okay. Uh, well. Do. Um, Go flank him! Yeah. You moved way past them. I don't know what you're doing. You don't need to go that far. Yeah. He's Just facing me. Facing. Okay. He's no, facing, he's facing me. All right, that's a hit. 19 damage. Uh, he might get set on fire. He did. Good job. Maybe that might re stop for his regen. It doesn't like in a their troll. case. It's oh, not like does that. It not like a yeah. troll. Yeah, it's it's a little different with these guys. All right, so that's one hit done. And then he does another one. Yeah. <clears throat> it's twenty nine to hit. Oh wow, another twenty nine to hit. Um, so 15 more fire damage, and he's still alive, but yeah, the D20 doesn't do anything. Is that your turn? Yeah, it's my turn. Okay, Gerlac. Alright, uh, so I'm blinded, so it's just... Yeah, it means you have disadvantage. Okay, so 14 disadvantage, yep. his first attack. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I rolled the 18. Damn, if that would have been regular. Fall. Yeah, the 18 hits him, so. No. Yep. And that's enough. You got him. All right. Yes, I got him. <laughs> you got him dead. Poof. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. That's all of them, guys. Um, Jeez, yeah, that's some hardcore that's... shit, man. Holy fuck. We're pretty exhausted after that. I'm time, almost oh, out of gosh. spells. We might have to find a place to barricade ourselves in these rooms check it out maybe there might be treasure and then uh maybe go for a rest yeah what do you guys say i agree yeah i'm glad you're not dead and then he'll be like Me a too. um can we search the corpses any weapons like those fireman axes anything special yeah yeah, they had some axes. Um, they're not magical, though. They're non magical. Uh, what, but what's up here? They weren't. What's they weren't like? like the fireman axe I have in the melee weapons. Like, oh, they weren't. They're just, yeah, there's just like the, the fireman axe actually does one d four fire damage. They don't do that. Oh. They're just like like regular old you know battle yeah. axes and stuff. Not great axes. Okay. Yeah. So basic stuff there. Um, you can search around. Do you want to end this fire spell that's, that's on the? That's yeah. why we're standing here. Yeah. All right. So it's probably get rid of that. Um. You, well, are you guys? What are you searching around? Like, are you searching one room at a time, or? Yes, carefully searching one room at a time. Mm -hmm. Finding a good place to barricade ourselves in and and make shelter. Yeah, I'll investigate this room. An extremely hostile territory. Right, you find a little bit of food in here. It's a nice room. Um, one superior healing potion. It's more like a drought that you can heal yourself with. Um, and then... Uh, Field tipped arrows for I think that is for the recurve. Yep. Um as well. I'll hand the arrows and the healing question over to your leg. Okay. Yeah, the field tips are your basic arrows for the modern recurve and the compound and the crossbow, so Basic arrows, piercing damage. Um, that's all you find in that room that you're in there, Dorndil. All right, 
Yeah, he'll move on. He's trying to like just make sure this this place is clear so that he can rest. Ooh, look at some piles bodies of bodies. There. Yeah, it's just like dead bodies of people that they've they look all gnawed upon and it's just disgusting. Waste. And it stinks like like a death in this room. Someone else can search that room if you want. Um, not digging around there, and then he'll come in here and stuff. All right. Around inside the dead bodies. Like, in the pile. You're doing what with them? I'm just looking and just seeing if there's any uh, objects that there. Are they all just, uh, are they stripped or are they? Yeah, they they're like. Some of their equipment? No, no, no there's nothing, nothing like left. Okay, uh -huh. they've basically just been chewed on. You can search the room. Yeah, I'll search the room. All right, you find yeah. uh, another energy bar. <laughs> Two radiation pills. Oh, wow. Yeah. Someone might need, a couple people might need those. That's all you find in the room. Uh, yeah, I think Bach has some radiation Yeah, Bach, damage. I think, has like 30% radiation so, damage. Right. Uh... Radiation. They're like, don't you have like, don't you have like ten percent? The types of radiation examples, um, ten to twenty percent. You have disadvantage on all your skill checks, and the way you can get rid of it, um, any type of healing magic will reduce it by five percent each well, time you use a healing spell. How do you heal Radi this? Radiation pills reduce it by ten percent for each pill. And radiation therapy is fully restored, but that's something that you'd have to find a facility for. So you can only take one radiation pill every two hours. We find a healer's kit, would that help? No. Okay. Yeah, you can't heal radiation. Magic heals it, but only little bits at a time. It's like you the said worst way. To do it. You said it was five percent every time, right? With magic. Yeah. How many times did you heal him? <laughs> a lot. I did a healing word on him just about every turn. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many he did. I'll just I, reduce I it down. I couldn't tell you. I'll reduce it down to ten. Okay. At least say, you know, what you did. All right. Uh, um, I'll, I'll give girl like one of the pills. Okay. Burlock doesn't have it. He he. Yeah, resisted. I don't have it. I, oh. I resisted. Oh, you resisted it. Only Bach has one. Only Bach has it. I'll give uh, yeah. Bach one of the pills. My good buddy Bach. Yeah, that's your buddy. What was that? A chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bach can't be resurrected. You guys can't be. Cannot. If he dies. Wow. <laughs> All right. What? Yeah. Well, I'm going to search this room <laughs> while you guys are popping pills over there. Are you taking a radiation pill, Bach? Yeah. All right. You are get rid of that pill. Yep, I already did. And then his radiation is gone, so. Yeah, it sucks to get a lot of radiation poisoning. Yeah. This game. You haven't encountered it a lot. There's definitely areas where you can get it a lot very easily. Where it's just in the atmosphere, basically? On the land a lot. On and the certain... land, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're searching in that room, Thorndill? Yeah, I'm going to look through the, the kitchen. So you're mostly finding food in here. We'll do three foods. Two Nova fresh sodas and an energy bar. None of you guys have eaten my special food that I made for the campaign. We haven't. Yeah, we really have. never eat. haven't run out of rations to have to really. Well, this stuff doesn't really work like rations. It's these are more like buff things that you can you can get buffed up from them. Like um, so that's what they do. Like an energy bar gives you a one d ten temporary uh, hit points. Why is that spelled all fucked up? Temporary one area. 
one hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the. Soda, oh wow, that's crazy. Nobody you get an extra. To... Yeah, that once it wears off, oh, so, like it's like a it's like a sugar rush type thing, you know. Oh, sun chips are nice. You can use these with like an action in combat too, if you want it to. Like yeah. he'll put them in his. Pack. With them actually being in his pack, I'll remember instead of the uh, group loot. I always forget. Yeah. Alright, so that's all you found in that room. Um, just finding, like, you know, consumable items hidden throughout the room and stuff. Is this another door? Yeah, it's a door. I'm gonna listen at the door. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, don't Make quite a, open uh, it. Perception check. I'm gonna stand behind him to protect him. You hear nothing but, like, the wind blowing through the streets. It, it looks like an exit door that exits out of a building. Hmm. Right. Either way. Um, hmm. Does it, look, does it open toward us, or does it open uh, outward? Inward, I would assume. Gerlach, perhaps you could push something in front of this door, and then we could hold up in one of these rooms to rest for a bit. Yeah, um, anything big and heavy that I could pick up and put in front of there? Some extremely a heavy giant, that big giant tub. tub. Yeah. I'll pick up the huge giant tub by myself. All right, I'll just mark it and go on roar. the map. Okay. This, this is a big, huge tub right here. Yeah, and put a big, huge tub right there. Yeah, that's that's good enough to mark it. I'll say this is probably our safest room right here. I ain't cleanest. Right? Yes, and we can there lock are, this door as well. There are some windows here, but it, it oh. they, they look out into like a bushel area. Like there's just some foliage out that way. Is this a chest or a drawer? Or? Uh, it looks like an empty thing. Yeah, like an empty wardrobe. Chest. Wardrobe, yeah. Okay, if when everybody gets in here, I'll pick it up and put it in front of the door and barricade ourselves in here. I need only four hours if someone else can take the first two watches. Well, you got to wait a long, almost a full day. You just took your oh, long yeah, rest. Sure, we did. Yeah. Less than an hour ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a long rest here. Fuck, we got tore up, though. Man. Yeah. We have a long time until we can heal. And we still have not found this razor. Yeah, you haven't found him. He's well, got to be somewhere in the town, though, you figure. A moment of clarity to, to plan out what we're doing. I know there are more doors down, or more buildings down to the south east. Perhaps okay, so we could only take a short rest? Indeed. You can definitely right. take a short rest, yeah. Alright. What about Pantheros? Take eight hours to get it back. Uh, will it? Okay. Okay, um... I'm gonna roll some hit dice. You're just doing a short rest, right? Yeah, we're doing a short rest. I okay. Suppose. Roll the dice. Okay, that's my first one. Which is shit. Alright. <laughs> you like that shitty. Second one. All right. Third one. Damn. Ooh. How the fuck is that possible? Well, you only have a plus three. Yeah, I do. God. What's that bring me up to? 94. 94, okay. Mm. That's only three dice. So, uh... There we go. There's fourth dice. What's that fourth one bring me up to? 106. 106? That's right. That's there, good. Man. That's good. Well, I, I have 113, but yeah. Yeah, he's got 113. All right, so I'm going to use four dice. So Okay. Yeah. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, get seven dice left. Is anyone else going to roll their dice? I never got hit. Yeah, Box the only one. He he doesn't really have hit die, but he can roll. He he's got eleven d ten, so be um plus five. Oh wow! Okay. Nice. So you... that's that's plenty to get you to full health. Yeah, absolutely. Do you spellcasters get like a little bit of temporary spell points or like nope. recall a spell or two? My uh, channel divinity comes back, but that's about it. Well, like druids and wizards. If I run out of psychic energy, I can always tap in to use my vitality, but I'd rather not do that, so I'm going to be reserved for a bit. Yeah. Man, Ly that's fucking hell of a campaign. Yeah, so <laughs> Lyra Lyra's like, I have some I have some abilities that might be useful to us. I might be able to find this guy. Let me think. And then she starts going through her list of spells. Um mm. But she's trying to find the guy. Target knows you're casting a spell can fail the saving throw voluntarily. Um, hmm. Knowledge save modifier secondhand. You have heard of the target. Uh, he's got a plus five. Um, so it's a wisdom save. By this guy that she's looking you're looking for razor she's trying to find razor back um it is wisdom right and her dc is like a 15 in this case 15 yeah he got a one <laughs> so that ends up being a six she tries to find him somewhere and she's like he's right across the road from us and the next building across the road to the west if we go anywhere we should probably take him out first I agree. Good call. And then she's like, there's one more thing I can do to help us. Give me a moment. And then she begins casting this. Um, she cr creates an invisible magical eye within range that hovers in the air for the duration. <laughs> you mentally receive visual information from the eye, which has normal vision and dark vision out to 30 feet. The eye can look in every direction. As an action, you can move it up to 30 feet in any direction. There's no limit to how far away the eye can move, but it can't enter. Stop doing that. <laughs> it can't enter another plane of existence. A solid barrier blocks the eye's movement, but the eye can pass through an opening as small as one inch in diameter. All right, so what I'll say, she passes it through the door because the door has at least, like, some spacing in between it somewhere, at top, bottom, or sides. And she sends it across the way, and she tells you, oh, he's guarded. I can see the room. It's like a warehouse, and okay. there's a bunch of broken crates around him. There's a bunch of those hounds, two of them, and... Okay. Just two it's more of those hulks and the oh, butchers God. and the flashers, the ones with the axes and the chainsaws. Whoa, and then, that's a and then there's, army. And then there's something else that I've never seen before, but it's huge. Well, at least it's large, very, very large in size. And then she can see that he's like, it's just like this giant monstrosity looking thing. And she describes it to you like this. Oh my god. So there's a whole army over there waiting. Oh yeah, they're they're pretty they're well, our, I mean we need some serious Yeah, we need to be seriously rested before we go up our months those monsters. Perhaps retreat is our best option at this point. I just linked them just to double check. I get second win 
And action surge back on a short rest. Yeah, I know. That's fine. Okay, it's just and dominate. I don't. No, that's a long rest. Yeah. All right. So she gives you that information. She's like, "There's at least two hulks, a couple splashers, and a couple butchers in there." Oh God, the splashers are uh, as well as the chainsaws uh, or less. Razorback. I Fuck. believe this would be a better. We should come back better prepared. There's no. I agree. I agree with you. We should. Uh, even though try I to don't go back to that place underground, which I don't shy from. away from any battle, but it might be over our heads. Or you could leave and come back at another time. Yeah, deal with that's, them. That's true. That's more. When we're, they, when would, we're, they would have uh, replenished their numbers too if we do that. Uh, not necessarily, but they can. May, maybe a few monsters would respawn, but even if they could, like, uh, we could. Like in these rooms, I wouldn't like repopulate all of them. Like right, would. but I'm just saying that like more of them could be here. Yeah. Even if there were more, when we came back. At least now we know what we face. We could be a little bit smarter about our entry. True. I vote that we come back at a later time. It's not worth getting ourselves killed. There's more important things on the horizon. Do you want to leave this whole area? I mean, Thorndale does. I kind of want to see what happens, but I think he'd be a little bit smarter about it. What does everybody else say? I'm game for anything. Um, I do believe, though, it'd be smarter to return once we uh, are a little bit stronger. Rest, I think you're going to have a very hard fight here. Yeah, well, this is going to be an extremely hard fight, and this just might be the end of us. So we're not prepared. Plain and simple. We are not prepared for this. All right. What do you guys want to do then? We could start making our way to the uh, yeah. sawmill. Steel mill, but Steel yeah. Steel mill, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's maybe a day's travel. So, you know, if you traveled out that direction and took a long rest before, like, heading there, heading into it, then right. you could be prepared for that. Or you could wander around the open areas for a while, um, take a long rest. Or just wait. You could just wait anywhere where you feel safe, outside or in this town, to take a long rest. Like, you could wait here 24 hours, but there's chances that monsters would roam around here. We could try to head back down, down in the underground and go to that room again. Lock ourselves in. That. It worked well. once. I say, I say we just leave and go to a different area. And 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 try to find the easier combat until we improve our skills and our training. Hey, Thorndil, do you have that guy on, on your sheet? The guy that you found, that little robot? Remember your um, your new pet that you have? Like Yeah, I remember him having. What do what did you guys name him again? The Lux. Lexicon. Yeah. Don't forget. Yeah, don't Lexicon. forget about him. <laughs> I don't know where I got him at in here, but oh, he's here. Okay. He's in the characters folder in case you guys yeah. are looking to summon him back into the. That's him. What does he do again? Let's remember this uh, guy. He's got the gaze of confusion. Mm -hmm. And Biblio Telekin. Right, he's, he can like, he's basically like a uh, bag of holding. For books. Yeah, for and books. stuff. Yeah, papers. and He can also be like a computer interface, I think, because he's a machine. Like, you can use him to sort of interface with other machines to get information you want it to. Maybe experiment with that. Um,. I should add some of that on to him. But, uh, that's him with you guys. 
Well, um, what are you guys thinking? So, heading out of here or going underground again? I'd say out of this area, Let's personally. See. The whole map? Yeah, Sir? out of the whole area until we find a place where we could train and uh, advance in our skills and abilities and strength. Mm -hmm. All right. That's We're not ready for it. The, the areas get progressively harder, by the way. I think the steel mill is probably similar difficulty as this area if you were to... Well, this area is probably even easier in a sense <laughs> because... Oh, God. Only in the sense that not, not necessarily the encounters are harder at the other place, but this place is actually easier in the sense that you didn't have to do all the encounters if you just found him. Does that make sense? Like this is more, oh, you could have, you could have gone around, you could have skipped this entire building. Oh, I'm not worried about skipping. I'm, I'm making but, a yeah. point though. Like yeah. this place is only really that challenging because of the sheer number of fights you can encounter here. Yeah. There's way more encounters here than probably the steel mill or anywhere else so far. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm I'm voting with Gerlach. I don't know what everyone else wants to do. All right. So you guys head in. Well, everybody's going to speak up. I got to decide. You know, you guys got to decide. Say head out. Yeah, I agree. All right. So I'm just going to have you guys take the safest route to this. To out of here. Don't move for a second. I'm just going to move everybody out of the way here. Um... Okay, so I'm sending you guys up to the northern area here where the train tracks were. You see it? Yep. You mm -hmm. can leave the map from there. Okay. And then you head back to the world map area here. And there you are. You see how far away the steel mill is. It's probably a half a day's travel, a little bit longer. Um. Oh, yeah, you got some land to cover there. Snowy right. base lie to the north, and uh, the mountains to the west. So traveling about. Oh, there you go there. Do you guys want to just like call it a night here? Let's just maybe. This, this would be a good point. spot. This would be a good stop. Yeah. So next week, you know, remember you're not long rested when we start, but um, right. no. Yep. It's you know you got the steel mill out that way. You can make camp anywhere on the world map. Oh. Any hex you want, even where you're at, you could just say you're making camp there. But um, you know, be standard. Uh standard risk level yeah. for encounters out in the open world. I guess that's it, right? Does anyone have any questions? And you're going to head there to the steel mill, right? Next week? Yes. All right. So you got you got the steel mill, and you have one of these... Um, that's one of the craters that you learned about. That's a quest area type of place. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then you got Xavier's... I'm not ready to run Xavier's Mansion or really the other areas south of that. But as you progress south, I will prepare for that. I could I could run something. It's just I'm, I don't have all maps and everything I'd like to design. And, and That's fine. I, I have mean, some, I have some placeholders there and, and the NPCs made, but like I, it's not prepared. So yeah. Our plan anyway was to go to the steel mill, then the crater, and then south. So. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought, but like... You know, you guys can always deviate if you mm. if you decide like it's better for us to do one thing or the other, or for sure. Because remember, I'm treating this as an open world campaign. I just want you to know that, so you can definitely say, you know what, let's just go back to Fort Kenny, or let's go east now, or the eastern area of the map's definitely the harder area. Yeah, you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna get a level or two under your belt. Yeah, that's. 
Absolutely what I'm right, yeah. what I'm thinking. See, like, you see this big map that we're on. By the if you cleared almost all the things that you have to do right now, that's going to push you guys to around level fifteen, and then you'll be in a completely new area afterwards. Cool. So all this content in here, you'll get about four levels. Um, and then we'll be in a different area of the world probably at some point later, but, uh, I don't know. I just wanted to mention that because it's not like you can't do the Eastern side of the map at level 11, but you might want to wait a level or two before like getting that far East. Cause that's where I plan on like kicking up difficulty a little bit more again and Clearly, we need to wait a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> these areas you're in right now, you're at a good level for those two. So, all right. Well, I guess that's it.